Hello, hello, how is everyone? Hope everyone is doing well. We are, what are we doing? We are making pizza wheels today. And, uh, and a, a sourdough starter for next week. Because we thought, well, we, we got sourdough from a family friend and we realized how much we missed it. So we want to try our own, we want to start making sourdough again. Sorry guys, uh, we're just like double checking uh, if there's any issues. Where's the volume? Oh, I, I slowed it down so I didn't hear myself oh. speak because I get nervous about it. Go on, you just like wave your hand and keep talking and I'm gonna... So, hello everyone. How's everyone doing? What's everyone been up to? I can't actually see chat. Hold on. Hello Mary. How are you? What have you been up to? Hello Robo, how are you? What have you guys been right. up to? Yeah, it looks alright. Guys, uh, guys, if the stream does like uh, end up a little bit weird uh, or like cracking up and stuff, let me know. Uh, we've increased the bitrate uh, from last stream because uh, of course we are streaming on the laptop and whatnot. Uh, so basically what's going on is I've increased the, I've increased the bitrate from over... Um, from 3k to 5k now, uh, mainly because obviously we've been uh, in the last stream we did it for the cooking stream. Uh, it, it was on only on 360p, which it looked alright. But the thing is, I want it better quality, uh, and of course the laptop isn't that gr the greatest, so it won't obviously uh, grade wise it won't like push like past 1080. But I am trying to like you know uh, work around it essentially. So obviously I'm using more bandwidth. Uh, over like hardware, so it makes it more crystal. So it, it so it kind of counteracts the bitrate issue. So you know when it goes like fuzzy, uh, like you can see like my hand a little bit, like what? It doesn't look like it's my actual hand, right? Um, so it's it's to kind of like stop it from like being a bit of like claymation, I guess. Um, so yeah, well, that's what we're basically doing. Yo, uh, so Robo Mary, what is up, guys? Uh, of course, the sis has explained what we are making. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start off with, of course, uh, pizza dough. We have actually started off, you guys are like, yo, Stan, what's that on the scale already? We have started off with the yeast already, uh, mainly because the... I don't think they see that. Can they see that? It's just off on the edge. 
So yeah, we, we've literally just like put uh, sugar in there, put yeast in there. It's just to kind of see if it works. Um, so obviously we are making a bready product. Um, so you guys will have to use yeast uh, for obvious reasons. Um, you can use uh, baking soda, but the only issue will be is obviously you're not going to get that nice rise. And of course we're making pizza wheels. So obviously it, it needs a, it needs a, a little bit of fluffiness. Yeah, exactly. So obviously the yeast there is going to help. I've had this yeast since like two years. Yeast doesn't actually last long for anyone who doesn't know. It, like it only has like a shelf life of like a year, maybe six months at most. Um, especially those instant yeast ones, uh, this, the instant uh, packet ones, because those ones are like broken down. Whereas if you get fresh yeast, those ones do last, have a, like even a shorter, uh, shorter lifespan, but it goes further, if that makes sense. So in the raising process, uh, in like any product you use, it'll pretty, pretty much like do it like that. So it's obviously worth uh, getting the fresh yeast, but I don't use uh, bread enough to actually make it worth it. So uh, yeah. Oh, my shirt is on theme. Look, it says all day and it's got a little pizza on top. <laughs> And then the back says all night, and it's also got pizza. Is that against TOS, guys, to show uh, to show that, huh? I'm I'm wearing uh, on theme as well. I'm wearing uh, Flamingo. flamingos. How's that on theme? <laughs> it's pink, isn't it? So um, what has that got to do with anything? I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out at some point. So, Robo Mary, and of course, anyone else in chat, how are you guys doing? How's the life been treating you? How is everything in life? Also, what are your pizza toppings? Yeah, because... we are. Maybe... Oh, by the way, for anyone who's never heard of a pizza wheel, right? Uh, you made it in school as well, right? Uh, probably. It is uh, easy. From food, from food tech. I think so. Ah, uh, you want to explain what uh what pizza uh, what pizza wheel is then? Go on. So if you imagine a pizza is round, right, and it's flat, and you put your toppings on top, and then you put the pizza as it is into the oven. So with pizza wheel, you still do your toppings, same concept, and then instead of leaving it flat, you basically roll it almost like a Swiss roll, and then you cut it. And then you place it onto your sides. Yeah, you place it onto its side and then you bake it as a wheel. It's a pizza wheel. Yeah. So obviously we are going to be adding a little little bit of our own flavours into it. Uh, my sister obviously wants her... No, uh, I didn't say that. Did you not want sriracha? What it did you want? You. What did you want? I wanted this. Oh, she's adding a sweet pickle then. I'm adding... Pickle, onion, um, sweet corn. I think that's going to be mine. And then I'm... obviously with your standard... Uh... Oh yeah, for anyone wondering why we all of a sudden did pizza, uh, pizza as well, yeah? It's because we had a leftover uh, pasta sauce from uh, when we made... What's it called? Tortellini? Yeah, tortellini. So uh, over the over the week we had some tortellini and because uh, obviously my sister bought it over the weekend uh, and it was fresh ones. So obviously you, you have to, you have to, you know, use it up. You have to so, use it within the week. Yeah, so the pasta sauce we had a lot left over because obviously we don't really like our pasta too saucy. Uh, so we have like literally like half, yeah, half of like a a, a container left. So we're gonna actually use that. Uh, add pineapple. I probably will. We we did consider pineapple, and then we thought because it's a wheel, we're not hundred percent sure if we should put too many. What did you say? Wet ingredients. Yeah, to, if we add in too many wet ingredients, basically what happens is It'll like get soggy. The, it gets soggy, and then also it prevents it from like cooking and stuff. Guys, I'm so I'm super sorry if you like heard that uh like. It, like when laggy and stuff unfortunately uh our laptop is still having issues from time to time so if it does like lag out for like i think it's lagging out is it lagging out right now yeah it looks like it it looks like it is like on out. the obs but i'm not sure about in on the yeah stream. hold on guys we're just like double checking and checking if you can hear us and whatnot what no volume yeah oh, oh no it seems all right no, it's not mine. In about like 15 minutes, someone just remind us to like pop in a charger again and then we'll just be in. We have to keep taking the charger out because there's like a cackling sound. Uh, if you guys remember I how I said, um, our our laptop is actually broken. So obviously we can't, um, we, can't send, we can't send it to repair. And the insurance has expired so we can no longer... Yeah, we can't we, get... we did send it in once and then they said that they've sorted it out and then a month later the insurance expired and they hadn't sorted it out so i was like yeah i'm not paying no they repaired it and then a month later something else happened with from the issue and then that's 
what but it was camera... the same thing that happened again no no before it was yeah it was that was it the screen as well yeah oh okay uh it's a bit framing and laggy and the texture are freezing uh a lot of the time when on screen i think you might just have to reduce the bit rate again no it's not the bit rate it's the laptop it's whenever we take the charger out it thinks we don't it, we're not supplying it enough uh, power that's what it is so if you keep like moving your hands not like that yeah like that you'll you'll notice it after a little while it'll just like go weird um i've had uh i've had soggy pizza not too good yeah exactly exactly it's not that nice so yeah what are you putting on your one peppers i'm putting sweet corn. peppers sweet corn and cheese. oh spinach we forgot spinach yeah you can add spinach as well okay so guys just to let you know the yeast is actually rising you guys can't see it from the top right but from the side it is actually rising uh, obviously you guys must know how to use yeast now come on man we, we ain't we ain't kids out here uh <laughs> so yeah just obviously if you're if you're like oh stan i don't know if our yeast is like still working and whatnot what you need to do yeah is if it's clumping up when you're uh like mixing it in the water and it's clumping up it means it's bad if it's uh dissolving but it's not risen yet you have to give it a bit more time to rise so uh, as i mentioned this yeast was like from two years ago uh, I don't really cook bread as much as I did back in the pandemic, but obviously I do like try and make it work because obviously I don't, I don't I hate I hate wasting it. Um, so what I end up doing is actually adding sugar into there, adding water into there, and just letting it go. Uh, give me a second, guys. There we go. I love how all the updates come in when we stream, and we've been live for like the last thirty minutes. All right, so. Let's get this started, shall we? Um, Are you sure that's enough? It's risen enough for you to do the the flour. No, I, at least I can measure it, though. Isn't it? All right. So if you give me a container, I can mix the dough in. Okay. Wait. Let's move everything to the side. There we go. Also, go. Also, guys. Uh, once again, exclamation mark. Um, exclamation mark uh sites just so you guys know where where what other sites we're streaming on and whatnot why did you take this out oh so we could drink because i was thirsty okay so let's let's make a drink first okay. let's anything else. guys if anyone's ever wondered if you stand what do you drink during streams and stuff this is what it is it's called vegan protein right uh obviously we're vegans we can't eat uh we can't have like dairy products um i say vegan lactose intolerant is the right correct word guys but since we've cut out so much, like, we kind of consider it vegan now. Uh, basically, you just add, like, I think, like, 15 grams, 16 grams of this. You say that as if we're not just about to consume cheese. Yeah, I know. And it's gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you guys can see, like, this ain't, this ain't no vegan cheese. Uh, this ain't no vegan cheese. So, you guys see that nice, like, pinky colour there? Give us this again. You having as well? Yeah, but this is yours. Yeah, alright. And for anyone wondering how much protein there is in this, uh, it is about, give me a moment. All right, could you close that? Uh, per a hundred, sorry, per a 16, it's about 10 grams of protein. That's how much is in there. Some mozzarella, unfortunately, uh, no mozzarella because uh, we know we're not gonna eat it uh, later on. So we kind of just like, you know, we kind of just like the, We'll just use like whatever's in the fridge essentially. Because it's, it's, it's a little bit annoying when you have like all these cheeses and no one eats it. And uh, since our family's not here either, so we, it's kind of like, it's kind of a waste of... It's kind of a waste of like resources and money. Alright, there we go. That's that done. So basically, simple instructions, you just shake it. Yeah, you just let you let the foam basically and dissipate. There's, and there's a foam that forms over here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that much. And you just let it dissolve and then it's ready to drink. Some fridge cheese. <laughs> yeah, now unfortunately because we don't um the thing is because we don't uh because we're lactose intolerant, right? We can't have too much cheese. But at the same time, we don't want to, like, buy so many cheeses to a point where it's kind of, like, I was, it's just I, sitting there. I actually wanted to buy um, Applewood vegan cheese, but we've got this cheese 
to eat still, so we're just gonna have this. And yeah, then I thought, was, I thought it was one with read. Yeah, but it tastes nice. It I like it. Nice. It tastes nice in a sandwich. I don't know about pizza though. Yeah, but that's what experimenting is all about, right? Yeah. Well done. You saw nothing, guys. At this point, everyone will clap. Oh, hey, you have to hold it from the top, please. But it's not thingy. I don't care. It's not leaking. You're you're flinging it on the laptop and the mic and everything, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you. I right, go do it. You know, otherwise. It's not. Le this isn't the one that leaks. No, I don't care. I don't care. That one annoys. That one is the that's worst. Why, that's why I picked it. That one's the worst one. Because I could. Nah, nah, nah. I don't want e no excuses. Yeah, we've got about three hundred pounds worth of like equipment here. <laughs> From like 20 and years you're, ago. You're flattering yourself 300 pounds. Yeah, I know. But still. <laughs> Alright, guys. Give us a moment. Yeah, we're going to start doing um, the pizza dough mix. Guys, give us a moment. So, in case anyone's wondering, we are just going to be using a normal bread mix. We're just going to keep it going flat as possible. Um, okay. So. Oh, also, we are going to sieve it as well. Just to let you guys know. Once again. The only thing about this bottle that yesterday when I made my own, when I tried the peach tea one, yeah, it the powder gathered up the, in the lid. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about it. Did this. you did you like the peach one, though? Yeah, it tastes good, right? You know, I, I it's just not enough peachy. That's that's why I hate. It's got more of a of like, do you know like the tinned peach? Yeah, it's got that flavor than a artificial flavor. Give us a second, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I'll go on that side. Also, I forgot. This pick, it's called Sweet Pickle. I don't know if you guys see that. Oh, there you go. It's called Sweet Pickle because it's only got like 5% onion in it. Also, give me a second, yeah? Oh, well, guys, I want to quickly change the... Yeah, go, you speak, go on. Because otherwise, normally, like, pickled onion tastes really good. Usually, Branston's pickle... Top tier. I put that in basically everything. From like pizzas, sandwiches, paninis. What else? There was something else as well. I forgot. Never mind. I thought I thought that we could zoom it out. I don't know. I was like, why it looks a bit like too close. I don't know. Sorry guys, so if anyone's wondering, we're putting in five hundred uh, 500 flour, bread flour, by the way. There's 300 water. Five oh five flour. Five oh five, so whatever, same thing, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, there's three, obviously, the yeast and that. There's uh, 300 water in there with, of course, yeast and sugar. Uh, in this mix, what we're going to do is we're going to get some salt. You want to put oregano in here as well? Or no? I don't know. That's why I asked you before if you wanted to put any herbs to do that. You can put oregano in then. Okay. Guys, you don't need to put yeast through a sieve. It's just I want it to be a little bit extra. <laughs> Yeast? That's not yeast. Not yeast, sorry, oregano. There you go. Do you want to put the salt in there? How much salt? Just enough. That doesn't seem like enough. A little bit more. Oh, yeah, there you go. You don't have to put that to that. No, you do, just in case it's hard enough. Anything else? I think that's it. And that's it, guys. That's as simple as you'll get your... Uh, do you want to put some chili flakes in there? Nah, we'll put the cheese flakes and all that on top. There we go. We're gonna give this a quick mix. How long does it have to sit, by the way? Until it just basically rises. Which might take a little bit of time, but it should be alright. But it is quite warm today. Yeah, guys, I don't know. Is anyone else um facing like a, a sunny, like weird tropical storm thing? Uh, So basically, right, it's like... I was like wondering if you guys could hear that. Um, 
69% humidity and uh, 18 degrees right now, guys. But it's raining in like an hour. So I don't understand like what kind of weather we're going through. It's it really feels, annoying. It, it, do you know what it honestly feels like? It's obviously not as extreme, but it feels like India monsoon season. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, it's like it's, foaming. It's about this much foam. Yeah. Usually instant yeast has a lot of foam. Uh, this has been sitting around since we started. So about 20 minutes ago. So it's not really that's, the... That's, that's a decent not, amount though. No, nah, it's not. Like usually it would over flood. That's fine. But considering it's old as well. Yeah. Considering it's old, you can kind of expect this to be like this. Quite a bit of water. Huh? Nah, I didn't need water. Can you get me a spatula? Big one, small one. Whichever is fine. And if you can just like do that out. And we're just going to give this a mix. Then of course what we're going to do is give it a mix on the table just to let the glutens form in there. So it gets a little bit of a stretch. But when it comes to rolling, it should be good. It does stink like a proper yeast though. Yeah, yeah. It's just always going to smell. The thing is, it doesn't help uh, when it comes to like, what do you call it, if it's actually working or not. Oh, so it'll still stink regardless. Yeah, it'll still it'll smell regardless, yeah. Oh, that's because the yeast is like a bacteria, isn't it? It'll smell. That's yeah, yeah, that's fine. Then we can... Do you need the spatula? Uh, keep it, but obviously put the way the. I'll leave it here. There we go. So yeah, we're not gonna be using too many ingredients. Uh, mainly because, uh, one, if you add too many, it's like a sort of like a calzone. If you add too many wet ingredients, you're going to get a wet pizza, and wet pizza is the last thing you want. Um, could you maybe give me a little bit more water? One second. It doesn't matter if it's cold or warm. No, nah, no, nah, it shouldn't matter. Just in case, just put in some warm there. But yeah, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Uh, wet pizza? Yeah, we're not going to, yeah, it's like calzone, where... If you add in too much uh, wet ingredients, it's just going to be soggy because obviously it has to go through so many layers. Uh, whereas with a calzone, you are encapsulating the ingredients. So it's just, it's got nowhere to go. They're like the steaming stuff. That's why a lot of people uh, poke holes into it. But aesthetically, it doesn't look appealing. It's not warm. It's cold. Okay. We're going to add in a little bit of water at a time. Uh, once again, it's, just, it's mainly because... We don't. If we add in too much, it's going to become a pain to uh, obviously use. So if we add in a steady amount, while giving it a good mix, it should be okay. But it's no good if you've just like dumped in so much and you know there's <laughs> it's like a sticky dough. It's useless to us after. Well, it's not useless. It just means it's a sticky. hassle. It's just a hassle to work with after. Oh, do you need oil then? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want? Can add a little bit more. So there was three hundred water in there, guys. Just to let you know. Uh, but we are gonna a few tablespoons here and there. But obviously, it kind of matters on like how. The best way to kind of describe how flour works is like the older it is, um, the less it's gonna take. The newer the flour is, the more water it's gonna like consume essentially. So what we're gonna do is if you could put the water away. We are gonna. Oh, sorry. We're gonna throw this here. Uh, flour. Could you read chat by the way as well? If there is any. Oh, is uh kick. Oh, uh, you changed it, so I didn't wanna. Oh. Your Sorry guys, by the way, uh, we are streaming on Kick and YouTube, uh, just to let you guys know. So if you guys do want to check it out on there, or you, you want to support it on those channels, guys, feel free, X Mission Mark site. So basically what we're going to do is... Where do I find it? So go on to my Google, and then just type in Kick, and it should just come up with Stan Kick. Oh, I see it. That's it guys, this is all we're doing. Now we're just like, we have to keep, uh, obviously if you had a machine, it would be so much more easier because it, it would do the pretty much the hard work all, all for you. But the thing is... Can you not get any on the floor I please? can't. 
the thing is, you have to keep kind of just like going at it for like 10 minutes, whereas with the machine, you'll do it within a few minutes because it's just rapidly just like, you know, doing this. Whereas with hands, you have to kind of manually like massage I'm it sorry, and it's whatnot. Manually doing what? Manually. It's, it's doing what? This. Well, what, what is that? <laughs> Mixing? <laughs> I, I like to do the gestures, innit, guys? You guys all know me right now. Such a random gesture. Um, hello, Ellie Mark. How are you? Yo, Ellie, what's up? By the way, guys. We are making the dough, yeah? We're gonna let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. We are then gonna make sourdough starter uh, in between while it's resting. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut all the ingredients up for the pizza. We are then gonna let it, um, we are then gonna let it just like, kind of just like sit. And then we're gonna start with the sourdough starter. What do you wanna do with the sourdough starter next week? Make sourdough. Oh, is that what we're gonna do? Okay. Now, because uh, in, in any case, if anyone's like wondering, yeah, sourdough, you can make anything. Essentially, you don't need to just make bread. Uh, you can make like sourdough muffins, sourdough bread. You can to make, be like... fair, our sourdough cookies turned out pretty decent. Oh yeah, we ha we we've made sourdough cookies, right? It lasted us like maybe a month, and you're like, oh, the no, it didn't. How long did it last? Like twenty four hours. Wait, what was the frozen one then? That was my normal egg one. Oh, okay, then there you go. <laughs> my, my, I made a batch. I made like three batches of, um egg cookies and then like i just had them on like on demand. standby yeah so like there'll be like random days where i'm just like i really want a cookie and then i'll just put it into like a little ramekin and within 10 minutes it's done yeah we had a sourdough uh cookie as well uh i can't remember how much it tasted i thought the frozen one was that one no 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 because you you made sourdough cookies out of leftovers mm. so it was only like i think it was only like 12 cookies you made oh okay yeah, what? but it was it was really nice. Yeah, like, we finished that instantly. If anyone's like, if, if you guys need to try sourdough, it's hard to explain what kind of like flavors and like what it kind of gives you because the thing is, right? So depending on the way the sourdough is made, it could be made really well, right? Or it could just be a round dough like this, and you just call it a sourdough. Sourdough originally, right, is how we used to make bread without yeast. It used to sit there for twenty four hours before we used to play play with the dough and mold it. But the thing is, obviously, everyone's consuming so much bread nowadays that they need something to speed it up, and that's what yeast is there for. And uh, the bread you t try now is like so, like, I feel like that's done. yeah, it's nearly done. The bread, the bread nowadays are like so over, like complicated, right? When the simple things you need is water, flour, right, and sugar and salt, if you want. That's all you need. You don't even need that many like, uh, like ingredients. But we've made it so complicated to a point where people enjoy sourdough, but people only just in like just found out about sourdough. Whereas like obviously from the family, we we've kind of been baking for years, and we've just been enjoying it for such a long time. Uh, could you give me oil? oil? So we're gonna oil this up, All right? Uh, in case anyone's wondering about the dough, you guys are like stand. There's like specks in there. That is oregano, oregano, however you wanna pronounce it, uh, and that's it. That's what that is. Oregano, no? I don't know. People pronounce it in so many ways. So that's gonna, that's gonna like sit there, guys. Just to let you know, we're gonna give it a little, like little mix like that. Done. That baby's gonna rest for a little while now. Hold on, let me wash my hands on it. It's ideal that you get a, a damp cloth, by the way, and it helps. Uh, it helps stops it from drying out. So obviously what I would suggest is either using a damp cloth and then obviously you have to throw it away or just wash your hands a little bit with warm water and just cover it and then that's all you need to do. And just let it sit. We're going to let that sit there for about 20-30 minutes. While that's going on is my sister's going to intervene and start cutting vegetables. Oh, that's my job, is it? Yep. And uh, she is going to start cutting vegetables and whatnot. Uh, while it's rising, then once that's done, what we're gonna do is we are gonna um, make the sourdough star. So if you guys give me a moment, just quickly wash up. There you go. By the way, guys, don't worry about the table. It's been it gets wiped down daily with uh, 
Could you, could you show them the spray again? Sorry. So it gets it gets cleaned by this, which is one of the nicest smelling like antibacterial uh, like cleaners, and it's uh, non toxic to food as well. So basically, you can spray it on tables, and obviously don't eat from it. But like no, uh, wipe it down uh, with a cloth, a wet piece of cloth as well, and you can start using it again. Whereas obviously, if you're using ones with bleach on it, you can't like it's it you know it can toxicate you. But yeah. How are you doing, Ellie? Yeah, not doing too bad. As you can see, we're just like eating a lot of food or making a lot of food and uh, preparing for, I guess, like lunch slash dinner. Uh, what about you? Uh, don't you uh, top, uh, don't you oil the top? No, nah, I don't oil the top. The reason for it is because I know it's not going to get attached to anything. If it, if it was a container or if it was like something else, then I would do it. But the thing is, I like having it just like if you wash your hands with the hand, uh, the, you know, the hand towel wet, uh, and then just like wash your hands with the hand towel and then put it over the bowl. Uh, it, it will stop it from drying out anyway. What colour pepper do you want? Doesn't matter. Just pepper what you want. <laughs> so we're having sweet pepper in, obviously, my one. Uh, you have pepper as well? I can do. Just oh. pour what you want in it, essentially. If you move it this way. There you go. But yeah, Ellie. Doing all right. What about you? How are you doing? How's things? Also, I think the kick stream keeps like turning off. By the way, guys, which is a little bit annoying. Second. I think you tripped people out by doing a cooking stream on a Thursday. Yeah, probably. We we usually do our cooking streams on Fridays. Um, but obviously everyone's just like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Everyone wanted a gaming stream, and I was like, I really want to cook. There's just days where you just want to cook. I think for next week's sourdough, um, so any, in case anyone's wondering, the best sourdough takes about seven days to make. Uh, and you're like, what, what is like the, like what is the main purpose of it? It's just basically, it's kind of like a fresh yeast, essentially. It's, you're, you're using, what you're doing with the flour. So, okay, let me, let's start from the beginning. To make sourdough star, all you need is flour and water. That's it. You don't need anything else. You can put sugar in there if you want. Uh, if anything, sugar increases it. However, you're doing just thin as possible, thin as possible, thin as possible. What? Well, but you're you're putting it in the pizza. Yeah, but we have to roll it up. Remember? Yeah. So I'll do I'll do dices. Yeah. All right. Um. So that's pr practically what is in the sourdough star, and you're like, can we use it straight away? You're not. You can You can use it. Obviously, you're just not gonna. You're just gonna get. A wet flower, <laughs> you know, it is done nothing. Uh, so it takes seven. It takes about three days. Uh, if you if you have like uh, if you have a humidity room, right, it takes a day. But if you don't, and you're people like us, right, people, you know, family person, family people who just make it at home, it takes anywhere between three to seven days, and uh, it could. What is it? What was this plate for? For you to put stuff in there. Oh, then I took this plate out to put stuff in there. Oh. And uh, yeah, so basically you can you can just put um, all you need to do is just constantly keep feeding it yeast and uh, sorry flour and water or like every day and give it a little nice mix. I and mean, we'll show you how to do it, obviously. And did uh, you find your jar? Uh, we're making a little little one in it because the thing is we're all using it for like dried fruits. Yeah, but did you find the jar? Which is gonna make it in this one. Oh, okay. Does it matter if it's plastic or? It doesn't matter. Well? Obviously, a glass jar does help out. Uh, the issue is, as well, I should probably mention, with sourdough, um, you can't close the container tightly. Uh, I have seen it explode and at work. <laughs> so, obviously, if you put yeast in a tight container, like a super airtight, let's put this, okay, let's give you an example. You close it up, and that's how you're going to leave your sourdough star. It's literally going to pop off because th there's gas building up in there. The moment you either one, Take this off, it's going to explode. Or two, during the night, you're going to hear a big slam. Um, so that's why a lot of people use glass jars as well, is because it, it's like it kind of holds its shape. Whereas with plastic, it's more likely to like kind of blow up. Um, let's put it in a blender, and you're making that. Uh, you're making it that small. Stan's teeth aren't uh, like that, like they used to be. Exactly, exactly. I can put it through a blender, but then it will just turn into pepper soup. 
We're, we're making we're making gazpacho. The Spanish soup, guys. That's what it is. That's what all of a sudden it turns into. Gazpacho. Wait, so you want to make bread with the sourdough, yeah? Yeah, because we enjoyed the bread. Unless you have other things. No, no, no. We'll, we'll make bread with it. I'm just like thinking what else we could make. Because the one... We can make cookies again. Yeah. It was good. All right, so we make cookies and bread. But the thing is, uh, also with sourdough uh, bread, it does take a little bit of time to rise. Because it's not instant yeast, so it's going to take like a whole day. So what we can do is literally a few hours before we go live is we make the dough and just let it sit. And then we do the cookies on stream and cook and bake off the bread as well. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Because that, that's the one thing as well, because obviously you're making your own kind of leveling. Uh, leveling? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I don't rising, know what you're talking about. Rising age. Ri rising age. Leveling. I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're the smart one. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also not the baker. Yeah, this okay. isn't my jargon, this is your jargon. Okay, Lebanon. <laughs> we're gonna call it Lebanon. I know it's Lebanon. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be obviously, uh, when you're making your own Lebanon, um, right, like, you it know, sounds what? wrong. Yeah, it sounds so wrong, yeah. Uh, when, when you're using when you're making your own yeast, right, it's gonna take it's not gonna be like fast action yeast where it just it just blows up in 30 minutes, it is gonna take you know hours. So obviously what we're going to do is when the sourdough is ready, I think what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the dough before we start streaming and we're going to let it sit um, because it is going to take literal hours. Um, like when we used to do our work, it used to take anywhere between like four to six hours. So usually what we used to do is we used to make the sourdough at the start of the shift, right? Mold it and whatnot. We then put it to the side and we put it next to the oven. Uh, so it's you know the heat that's produced by the oven is creating uh cr you know creating some heat and uh, letting it rise a little bit uh rise a little bit more. The thing is, when it came to the sourdough, by the time we were ending the shift, yeah, or like near enough like the last like thirty minutes, that's when the dough like the sourdough is ready, and it's it it does take a very long time. It does it does have a very nice flavor. It is worth it. It's just like you kind of do need to have the time and of course the facilities for it. As long as you have an oven, uh, I think you should be okay. Hopefully, I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, it would be the first time making sourdough bread in our oven. Uh, we would we would have used the instant pot, but the thing is, the instant pot is a little bit of a headache to use, especially with bread. Uh, mainly because the bread like because it's such like a deep uh, a deep bowl. But the thing is, the instant pot would be better in terms of even baking. Yeah, I think in well better than our oven at least. No, it would be like the the sourdough my friend brought. Um, he basically works for a bread factory, and uh, he was like, he, so part of his like benefits, I guess. I I don't know. Would you consider that benefits? Maybe you maybe you do. I don't know. Um, but basically, one of the benefits of working for the bread factory, right, is uh, he he gets to take bread home. So at the end of the shift, uh, every every employee can uh, basically just take one bread and one other. So one bread, I mean, the vast ones they make, obviously it could be sourdough, brown bread, white loaf, whatever, right? Granary. Is that enough? Or, yeah, that's enough. And then the other is basically like, oh, uh, let's say a British muffin or a, I don't know, a croissant or something like that. So it's not, so it's not always like bread you're getting, but it's all bread based, if that makes sense. I think... I think, although you're saying that it's... Did our uncle come? That is white car. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, he, that's him. Is he coming to the door or is he just sitting and chilling in the car? I think he's going, but... No, I think he's going, like, going to the doctors and then... Oh, he hasn't called me yet, so... No, he's, he's just chilling there. Yeah. Um, I think although they, they're saying that it's a benefit for that person, for whoever works there to take home bread, I think it's just for them, it's like easy waste management as well. Like they're wasting less if people are taking it home and it looks better for them if they've got less wastage on record. True. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, you could... The ways you can like get rid of waste as well, or in, at least in the UK, is you 
There's two ways. You can give it to a farm farmer for free, right? Or you give it to your workers. Um, no, sorry. The farmers, uh, yeah, the farmers will either pay you or they you give it for free. It's like one or the other. And then, of course, you get um, the workers to take it. I don't know if that would be really considered. Like, don't get me wrong. The, the factory he works for does produce bread for, like... And I'm not saying, like, the bread is, like, five-star quality. Cause, like, there's no real difference between, like, breads and stuff like that. If anything, it's just, like... Maybe the way it's, like, shaped or flavoured might taste different. But, like, calling it a five-star bread and stuff is not going to make it, like, you know... Any more, like, oh, yeah, I want to eat that, like, kind of... Like difference, but yeah, he he basically um gave us like English muffins. He gave us right a slice of bread, and it was really weird. So imagine this is a slice of bread, right? It's like a rectangle, right? In you know how you cut bread is like by slices and it's a square. He ba so they produce a bread which they cut this way, so it's a huge rectangle. And uh, he was, like, my friend, obviously, he, you get to take away bread every single day. And um, he bought it because he was, like, he was a bit confused about what it was for and stuff. And uh, he bought it home and his his brother complained. He was like, yo, what are you doing? Like, why are you bringing bread we can't really, like, use in any way? Like, we have to half it and then just so we can put it in the toaster or we have to put it into the oven and stuff like that. Um, but I think, I think the people that obviously buy that, they probably serve one slice per customer. Yeah. Because it's like, say if they make fresh soup, they'll have one slice of toast next to it. And it's big enough that it's an appetizer or a starter or whatever it is. Yeah, it could be like for an open open sandwich as well. Like, I, I don't really know what it's exactly for, but it's it's re it was really odd to see because I just saw it in his fridge. He's like, oh, bro, you want to take this? I was like, why? Because, uh, like, he was... What was he giving us? What was the first bread he gave us? Sourdough, innit? Sourdough, yeah. yeah so sourdough he gave... and then, like, a basic bread. Yeah, he gave us sourdough and no, then gave us... potato bread. Potato bread, yeah. He gave us sourdough and a potato bread, right? And then he was like, oh, bro, do you want to take, like, this whole meal? And I was like, why? What's wrong with it? He was like, bro, I don't know why he bought it, yeah? But he bought three different versions of, like, the whole meal cut in a weird way. <laughs> so, obviously, he bought whole meal, granary, and then he bought, like, a seven-grain bread. And uh, obviously, if he's going to work every day, he's taking one every day as well. And, like, I'm surprised that they eat that much bread. I was really confused because I was like, once we ate the sourdough, we ate the sourdough literally within the day, guys. It was so, so nice. And hence why we're making the sourdough star. But, like, all the other breads were just like, man, it's, just, just, it's all right. Like, potato, potato bread, the only, only weird thing about it was it was a bit more dense. And, like, you know, when you look at bread, there's, like, holes, essentially, right? Like, air, air pockets, right? In this potato bread, it was just kind of solid. solid. Yeah, it was solid. It was not. It was soft, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat it again though because it was too heavy. Yeah, it, it, it just when we mean solid, we won't. We don't mean like it was, like, what well, was the word I'm looking for? Like hard or anything. It was literally like imagine a bread, right, with no holes, and it looked essentially sort of like a pound cake. It just like no holes in it. It just. It's just a slab of just bread. <laughs> it was, it was cooked and everything. It was just really, really odd. It was, it was bizarre. Like I've never really like had but but a potato bread before. I didn't know that was a thing. But when we did try it, I was like confused by it. But the sourdough was really, really good. I, I absolutely loved the sourdough. Like the sourdough was like probably the highlight and why we were like, you know what, we need to make sourdough again. Yeah, because we haven't had sourdough in a, a really long time. Yeah, like I was thinking. I don't know if you want to do this though. Do you want to make plain sourdough, or do you want to make like something with that like, cranberries, or sorry, raisins and like walnut? Mm. I don't usually. I enjoy those ones, but I I kind of just want to eat it plain as well. Yeah, I want to eat it plain. I don't usually like those ones. For anyone, uh, for anyone who's never tried the raisin and uh, walnut one, it's it's nice. It, the only issue is is you, it, it's a bit like too much. So there's only so much you can eat because there's so much sweetness in there. You're like, oh, Stan, but can't you, like, uh, you know, can't you, like, reduce the amount of raisins in there? You can. The issue is, because you're pre-soaking the raisins, when it's in the oven, all that burst of flavourness is, like, popping. So it's popping inside the bread, and all that sweetness is, like, just going everywhere. So it's kind of hard for you to be like, oh, you move your hands a lot more. Oh. Okay. 
But no, I thought it just like froze over. I was so confused by that. Oh no, it has. The battery's about to die. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I've plugged in the charger, and it, it, for some reason, it was uh, it wasn't saying it was uh, charging. This is what I mean by the by the laptop. By the way, it, it struggles so much uh, unnecessarily. What are you talking about unnecessarily? It's reached old age. The whole thing is ready to retire, and we keep making it. It's only work. like it's only like six years old. Yeah, but in terms of in the IT world, that's old. In the IT, no, it's not. It yeah, is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. People would laugh that we still have a pavilion. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's the that's oh, the. Oh yeah, name. that's the that's the model. What you wondering? And at the time, it was. The highest range in it. No, it wasn't highest range. Mid range. But it was it was affordable for most students. Yeah. Hopefully soon, or at some point, we do get like a, a newer PC, and we can. We're, just like start. we're just waiting on Stanley to make moves, and then <sighs> I can I can inherit his one, and then he can you get want, by. You, want, you want me to move? Then I would be taking I would be taking the laptop. Then oh, sorry, I'd be taking the PC. He's going to I the said, doctor, by the way. I said, sorry, sorry, yeah. He's going to the doctors. Oh. So he most likely is going to come here. No, I said we're waiting for you to make moves. Oh. So if anyone's got any job recommendations, let me know. <laughs> okay, so we've got sweet corn, peppers. Uh, what else? If you're, if you're gonna if you're gonna cut up some spinaches. Oh, you don't want to put it in whole. No, 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 cut it up. Okay, I can do that. I'll wait. Oakley, Oakley. Yeah, that's that's enough. Don't worry. Don't add too much. You guys are all hella confused by the spinach as well, I know it. <laughs> no, spinach is normal, isn't it? I don't know. I, I feel like for like wood wood pizza, oh. maybe, but not for like... Oh no, actually they put basil in it. Yeah. No, no, they put spinach in the wood wood baked one as well, but obviously in like normal home ones is a different story. But I'm wondering what she's doing, it's called a chiffon off. I think you are, right? What does that mean? So you're gonna roll it up, big to small, or just like gather it up, roll it up, and then cut it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna roll it though. I'm just gonna do it as it is, just like that. Yeah. So that's uh, for anyone wondering. That's called a sh uh, shipping off. Look it, at you and your fancy terms. Look, yeah. You're learning. Learning? I knew this about ages ago. Oh, sorry. You just you just never listen to me. You just think it's rambling. <laughs> that's true. I do blank out when you talk a lot. Okay, the bread is rising, by the way. Looking wonderful. Yeah, so once my sister's done uh, there, by the way, guys, if you don't know who this is, this is Mochi, uh, my sister. Um, once my sister's done with the kind of spinach, we are going to start with the sourdough star, and then you guys will be moving on to the pizza dough itself. So I'm going to actually start getting the oven uh, ready, mainly because... Uh, oh, it's going to be so hot, you know. The oven, I'm already warm. Yeah, the oven takes a while. Guys, please do not look at my back off yet. Uh, I, I have been working out, I know, I know. Don't worry, they can't tell. It's flat as a pancake. Wow. Oh, that's a bit offensive to pancakes, actually. <laughs> we love pancakes here. The dude. The dude, guys, the dude. There we go. Uh, no, no very normal, but at the same time, not unseen. I mean, the thing is, people people have a weird, uh, people have a weird, like, oh, yeah, pineapples don't belong on the pizza, and people will, like, ban you for that, like, ban you for, like, that kind of, like, uh, slander, right? Jalapenos? If you're not, we're gonna add chili flakes, yeah? Remember that. Chili okay, word. then I'll leave it as is. Yeah. Um. Do you, do you need the cutting board? That's it, we're done. So I'll put this on. Yeah, but people find the weirds. Uh, like, if you just do a simple Google search, uh, and we've done this before, right? Uh, we got peas or apples. Yeah, Brazilians put peas. Peas, yeah, garden peas on their pizzas. Like, that's a normal topping. But people still have a weird go of saying, oh, how can you put pineapple on pizza? It but doesn't belong that, there. It doesn't. It's not a terrible topping, the garden peas. But it's, it, it's just weird though, having it. Yeah, and that's because we don't usually do it. Sorry guys. I think if, if the 
garden peas are sweet enough it, it would taste all right but our our garden peas are like so seasonal sometimes they're like completely bland so it feels like why bother putting peas on it by the way we don't put peas in our pizza a lot just in case it, we, we, did it we, one did, time. we did it one time <laughs> yeah and our parents were kind <laughs> she, of like put off by it she, she's on drugs guys uh she she's uh she's making it think like we we have it all the time no it's not no, but I understand why you would have it. It's kind of like pineapple. It adds a sweetness to it. Yeah, but it's just really weird that and then it, like, if it, it if pops. Got, yeah, but if you've got the right... um, If you've got the right spiciness to it, it'll taste nice as well. Like, I, the reason I like pineapples on my pizza is because I also put jalapenos on it as well. Yeah, you get like a sweet and uh, spicy, yeah. Yeah. So I think in the right... If you get the profile right, it tastes good. Yeah, my sister does like a lot of uh pizza. <laughs> not pizza, jalapenos. Oh. She she has it in everything. Whereas me, I kind of I'm picky. I'm like, okay, on nachos it's good, on pizza it's no, on like sandwiches is okay. So you, you I kind of like pick and choose. Is that enough or a bit more? Uh you can do a bit more. Do you wanna sprinkle it on top when it comes out or no? No, but then it won't be melted. Uh, yeah, we'd have to put it in back in, innit? Yeah, but we can still, like, while it's in there, when we actually put it in the first time round, you can just put cheese on top as well. Alright, we we'll, we'll leave this here then. we we'll see how it turns out then. There we go. You can grate that's it all. all that, that's all the toppings? What do you mean, grate it all? Grate it all and then put it in a plastic container. No, no, no. It, it gets hard, man. I've, I've seen it before. You just don't want to grate it all. No, no, no. I've seen it. I've yeah. seen someone great before. Sure. Just, yeah. All right, guys, yeah, could, could cool someone... Cool story, bro. Cool story. Oh, my God. I hate my sister, guys. So can someone take her? Yeah. Yeah, take a drink break. Drink break. Cheers. I... Ideally, someone from a hot country. That would be nice. Mm. And if you, if you don't have snakes and spiders, that would be even better. Have you tried this one before? No, not this one. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I forgot to say, it's a raspberry mojito. Uh, that... That uh, shake, in case anyone's wondering, it's so nice. It is, it's good. All right, let's get started with um, where's the scale? Sorry, we get we get ready with the sourdough star. You guys like stand? What is it? Yeah, what? Oh, I didn't ask. Do you want to add extra protein in there? In what? Like, do you want chicken in there or something? Uh, I don't know. If you do, then we have to take it out now. That's what I'm saying. Nah, leave it as fine. So we're going to put 50 grams of flour. Super, super simple, guys. Super, super simple. This has to be very specific. If you guys are asking, can I add like 20 or 30 or 40? Uh, no. Then you have, to adjust the, you have to adjust it. But then don't expect the same results either. If you do end up doing this. It has to be super specific. Reason why is it could delay it, it could increase it, you know, stuff like that. Little things make a difference. Right, Especially in sourdough. What are you doing? Oh, the sourdough. Sourdough, yeah. And what we're going to do is. I didn't see that. There you go. Are you adding sugar to it? No. It's just flour and water? Yep. So all the, all the flavour comes from the flour? Yep. Interesting. Do you want to oil this tub? No. Nope. Can't do anything. Changes it, it changes it. That's that's the that's the why you have to keep it. Um that's, exact. What we're gonna do. that's why you have to keep it exact. He yeah. forgot his words. No, sorry, I was like wondering if I should do it in a bowl and then throw it in, or if I should just like do it straight like this, kind of. If it works. You are losing a little bit. You could have used a tea strainer. Tea strainer's not big enough, innit? Yeah, but it's small enough that it wouldn't leak over. True. So yeah, we are uh, doing the... Yeah, you know what, this is... This is done. <laughs> Hold on. It's gonna take too long doing that, guys. Right. 
You just look on the side of her. It's gonna take too long if I just like do it carefully and stuff. It it's you're sieving, guys. You get what I mean? I get what you mean. I get you. Don't lie to me. I am slightly lying, but I understand. Why do you strain it, by the way? Huh? Why do you strain it? So it goes, it goes through it, so like nicely, the liquid and stuff. It kind of like distributes it evenly. Whereas if you just put a solid block of uh, flour into it, it you get those lumps. It kind of removes that as well. And there we go. That's that's done, guys. That's fifty grams of. You lost quite a bit. I got, I got three grams of flour, guys. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You say that, but you you were so specific yeah, about being. Precise about it. Need to add three more grams, holding us. And there we go. Also, I should probably mention, guys. Um, your scales should have like an uh, a margin of error on it, so you should probably look into that as well. Uh, in case anyone's like, "Yo, Stan, um, I can't do like one gram increments and stuff. Like, what do I do?" That's like your scale, so you have to kind of like uh. You will have to kind of like figure out how to go around that. So with my scale, it's a margin of error, I think, of 0 0.1, if I'm correct. So we're just doing it, just giving it a nice little mix. You guys can see. You're like, Stan, where's the magic hat going to happen? You won't actually see any magic happen for the next three days, guys. I'm going to put that out there. So just make sure all the flour you've like put in and the water you've put in has been incorporated. Right? And then just put it somewhere where you know the temperature is always going to be the same. The reason why, yeah, is if you put it in the kitchen and then you put it into the fridge and then you put it into the living room, the temperature vary, uh, varies. And then, of course, it's going to like it could put off the flour as well. So the dough can go off if you just keep like putting it randomly in different temperatures because it's not keeping it at a steady pace. And then obviously, if you're putting it in the fridge, it will slow down uh, the chemical reactions that's going on in the dough itself. So that's something, again, you kind of don't want as well. Obviously, if you if you don't have enough time, so if anyone wondering, you're like, Stan, how do we feed the sourdough? Basically, again, you do the same thing what I just, uh, just said. 50 grams of water, 50 grams of uh, water. Uh, sorry, 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of water. Put it in, mix it up, done. Again, how do that every, you feed it? every day, every 24 hours. Obviously, if you're doing, if you're gonna put it in the fridge and you're like, oh, Stan, I've got a busy life here, unlike you, yeah. Um, you can put it in the fridge, and this will slow down the reaction. But then you do have to understand that when you do use the dough, you'll have to keep doing that again. So you can't be like, okay, I put it in the fridge today, and then tomorrow I do, I, I do it like this. I leave it in the living room. I can't. You, it is just gonna change uh, the reaction of what's going on. And then, of course, again, it's gonna put it off. And you're like, Stan, how do we tell if it's like being put off? The smell. If it smells like alcohol, the likelihood is that you've put, uh, you've just spoiled your dough, essentially. So, you guys can see the dough there. If you guys can remove it. And although it may smell, smell like alcohol, it is not edible. Yeah. <laughs> don't go, don't go cooking it off, guys. Uh, you might actually get very sick from it. Uh, okay. So, if you guys can see, that's it. You're not going to see any reaction or anything. You can you can see there on the side that... Um, Do you want to... We'll scrape off the sides, yeah. We'll scrape off the sides. That's so, got yeast in it. No, that's fine. So, in about... So, obviously, tomorrow, what's going to happen is we're going to feed it again, same time. You don't have to worry about the same time or anything like that. Like, it's not, it doesn't have to be very, very specific. But you do need to make sure you feed it every day. So don't be like, okay, uh, you know, I uh, forgot it's Monday today. I uh, forgot it's Tuesday. No, I've not fed it. You you feed on uh, Wednesday instead. That's not a good thing, right? Then you don't go doubling it up, if that makes sense. Keep it at the same pace. Uh, but don't be like, okay, uh, I missed that Tuesday. On Wednesday, let me give it 100 grams instead. No, don't do that. Uh, always feed it. 50 grams, 50 water. Yeah, 50 grams flour, 50 grams water. And keep doing that. Uh, you won't see any differences. What I'm going to do though, in, on Instagram, uh, guys, exclamation mark Instagram, right? Uh, you, I'll keep updating it. So you guys can see what, what your sourdough should look like. Basically, as you're adding more, right? And as the days go past, in about three days, 
you or even four, yeah, even five sometimes, right? You'll start seeing air bubbles, and when when the air bubble show up, is that's when you know, okay, the sour is the sourness is actually like happening, and that's the yeast, uh, and that's what's hap uh, that's what's gonna make your dough like look nice, uh, and like taste nice. Okay, if you take a picture of that, just so. Where's your phone? Oh, my phone. Just take a picture of that, and uh, just to kind of like show what the first day is like. With sixty-eight grams written on it. Uh, or you, you can't. Yeah, no, you can't do. Yo, chill! How you doing, my man? Can't miss the cooking streams. Hey, 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 good evening. I still remember the last thing you said yesterday. What did uh, you say? What did I say yesterday? I can't remember. Oh, never for the cooking stream. <laughs> also, I should mention, if you're using a glass container, do not, um, and of course a plastic container, whichever, it doesn't matter. Make sure you don't screw it on. Just do that. Just let it slam on it. That's it. Don't, don't even bother closing it. Okay, don't Again. do that because you're going to lose a lid. Yeah, just... Just leave it. The reason for that is one, you still need air to go into it, but also two, you, the gas that builds up onto it is gonna shoot it off if you if you unscrew it, right? If you have screwed it and, it, and you unscrew it, it's gonna pop off. With glass jars, it's gonna pop. So obviously from the gas build up. So just do literally. We, do we want to put cling film on it? Don't want to do anything. That's it. Done. Okay. Cool. So that goes to the side, and that's your sourdough, guys. You don't even have to worry about it for today now. You're like, oh, Stan, how long does it take to uh, do everything? Two minutes. Three minutes. That's it, done. Sourdough, sourdough done. You use a lot of bowls here. Yeah. Okay, while that's going on, could you show the flat, uh, show that, and I'm gonna show, uh, wash the dishes. So you've... So here we have our pizza dough. And as you can see, it's very happy with its froggy cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this towel and show you what it looks like. You can tell who's the streamer and who's not in it. Wow! Look at all this dough! It is not the dough that you be use in the UK. It's not our currency. It is the actual... Uh, I don't know what you call this. What? The edible dough. It is not currency dough, unfortunately. Wait, what are you talking about? Dough, as in money. Oh. I didn't get that joke. Could you repeat it so I can laugh? No, thank you. You snooze, you lose, sir. Oh, I don't know what you want me to do with it, mate. Uh, so what you can start doing is measure out... Uh, how much pizza do you think you're going to eat? How much pizza? Yeah. You think you can eat a lot, or can you, you think you're going to eat a little bit? I can eat a decent amount of pizza. Alright, then half it. Half it, uh, or, or even th three it. Three quarters it, uh, quarter it. Three it? Three quarters three it. it. Three That's it. different. There's different measurements. So you want me to do it in thirds, yeah? Yeah, thirds. But I don't like touching the dough. You're going to have to. Oil, uh, oil the scale. And start from big to small, yeah? Don't go small to big. Okay, so as you can see, I feel out of place because I don't enjoy touching dough. It's too squishy. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is guys, I think she'll be all right for Overwatch. <laughs> Why? We we call uh, DP. You know the ones, the little characters you attack. They're called squishies. You have to kill them quick, or they kill you. So they're called squishies. Hold on guys, sorry, I'm like uh, washing the dishes right now. That was way too much oil. It's just enough so it doesn't stick, by the way. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit on my fingers. So it doesn't stick to my fingers. Oh, I should have grabbed a knife first. Okay, what did you say, thirds? Yeah. So start from big to small, yeah? Don't go in small increments. That that looks fire. That looks like a decent third. Yeah, just scale, uh, wait out. Uh, actually, you don't need to scale out, don't worry. Just cut into thirds and leave it there. 
I mean, just cover it. The thing is, you could put it on You can measure it out. Uh, it kind of depends on like if you wanna. If you're eating with other people, like it's only me and my sister, so technically even half would be good. But the thing is, there's so much dough there that is probably a smart idea to kind of like. Do into third, so if the third one you can like keep for the side later on. And the chances are Stanley's gonna eat my my food anyway. Yeah. Because I don't eat it all in one go. Yeah. Do you want me to roll it out? No, I don't want you to do anything. I just want you to cut it. And cut that's it. it. Oh yeah, just roll it. Yeah, roll it, and then that's it. Put on, put on. Show us your rolling skills. No, you put on the put on the thing and roll it. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. I'm trying to do sourdough style. No, just roll it properly. Go on. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. Just properly. roll it. <laughs> yeah, and then make it into a circle. And that's it. Done. And just pinch the bottom. Just so everything at the bottom is stuck. You're going to quickly put them on the scale just so you kind of see what sizes they are. 277? All right. You're doing a wonderful job. You could, you could, uh, you could become a baker. You know, funnily enough, there were a couple times when at the bakery, I was told to do the sourdough, and and I failed miserably because it was my first time. And then, like every time he'd ask me to do it, it was like so random. It would be like once every like two, three months or something like that. So I was never getting practice. Mm. And every time I did it, he's like, "How are you still doing this badly?" I was like, "Excuse me, sir." You tell me to do it once every couple of months. I I don't have that talent. I don't retain all that information. Go and put in scale. Ah. Oh. That's fine. Just leave it. I'll leave it as it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Hold well on, guys. Let me quickly just scroll up on the chat there. By the way, guys. And saying so... that, the one that was like absolutely pouring off my my great. Uh, rolling skills was my uncle. Uh, good evening. Still remember what you said. You're evil. Yo, Stoical Waffles, what's up, guys? I'm super sorry about not talking to chat and stuff. It's just because we're like, you can see we're just having a conversation as we're as we're thinking. Uh, by the way, we watched Guardians of the Galaxy three uh, in the works today. Hey, really? That one got had how how was it? Should I uh, take it off? Nobody wanted uh, wanted to work because of the heat, uh, so we had to do something, and we wanted so we wanted to watch a movie. Uh, so there's a presentation in the town hall meet uh, of. Rabindra uh, Jayanti here. Wait, who who is that? Uh, Mr. Chill, sorry. Okay. Uh, that's it's it. go it's going on. Uh, but it's just too boring. Ah, yeah. Alright, that's fine. And then we give it. Its, um, are you giving it back? The froggy curtain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wash so your hands and then put it on. Cut your nails, Stan. What the fuck? Hey, look, yeah, my nails are wonderful, Phantom. Like, I like having long nails. Excuse me? <laughs> By the way, guys, in case anyone's wondering about the uh, the socks as well, I don't know how many of you guys have spotted Stormtrooper and, of course, Dobby. Yeah? Doesn't put that out there. I've got two purple cats with um, Slytherin, I think, uh, under socks. Go on, you want to show your nails, by the way? Uh, I haven't done anything to my nails. They're just normal nails. What, what do you want me to show? Phantom was like, yo, your your nails are too long. Cut him. Yeah, I have to trim them. <laughs> because... If, like... you, if you could trim them, right, and then put it into Phantom's drink, yeah? Just so, uh, you know, you can choke in it. Yeah, just want to put that out there, Phantom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then Phantom would have to come over. Okay, so then, as you can see... Hey, Phantom, you got, a, you got an invite from my sister, bro. What is this? <laughs> no, 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 no. I got... Good. So as you can see, this dough is slightly larger, this dough is slightly smaller, but it's okay because we're giving it a nice um, froggy nap. So say bye everyone, bye. Uh, it's, it's for the birthday of Rabindra Tagore, uh, the first non-European to win. Oh, okay, okay. I see, yeah, you evil guy. <laughs> I mean, Phantom, at least, at least uh, somehow I worked out to be the uh, weird wingman there. Somehow. 
Queen Ma. What are you trying to say? Huh? You need to get you married off so I can have your room in it. Phantom, uh, what are you offering me? I take sheep, goat, chickens. What are you gonna uh, do with sheep, goat, and chicken? I don't know. At least ask for a horse, mate. I'd like a horse. Yeah, but the horse is coming to me, though, in exchange for you. No. Dad and mom, mom and dad are still alive. The, the horse goes to them. <laughs> that's true, that's true. You know, people, then, you know people still do that, by the way? Yeah, of course. It's called um, dowry. It's illegal. In what country? In most countries. But they're still doing it in like, India and stuff. Like that. Yeah, it's illegal in, in India. So what, basically, if someone demands a dowry from you, you're allowed to report it to the police. Or well, most people, depending on like which area you come from, it's common and they don't they don't really care for it. Like they don't mind that it's happening at the same time, and they it's also part of their tradition. So like they don't want to change it. Mm. Nah, is the thing is they're still living in the what do you call it? They're still living in the past, isn't it? No, no, I think there's there's like large chunks that have modernized. It's just like the few villages you get, you know, like they still. Uh, murder their daughters as well. Um, you're weird. You are literally a vegetarian. We're not gonna eat the horse. Y yeah, what, what do you think we're gonna do? We're not Tesco <laughs> as during them lot. <laughs> what do you think Indians do with cows and shit? They don't munch on it. <laughs> they do produce something else from it, you know. Jesus, fellow. I told. Yeah, yeah go on. On. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, private jinx. <laughs> you can't speak now until I say your name. Mochi, mochi. Oh, it has to be three times, isn't it, guys? So now she has to keep her mouth shut, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or you get a punch. That's what it is. Um, it's illegal here too. Yeah, it's just like in certain areas where it's not like it's in like little villages. You get what I mean, uh, Jill? Like in cities, I can imagine it's like, yo, you you do that, you're gonna get reported and like arrested. But like, like let's say like a random village in India is it's not. Like, it's less likely. Uh, told you Stan's more Brit than Indian. Wow. Uh, Stan, you said chicken and sheep. What are you gonna... What are you ex uh, expecting to do with them? Feed them and stuff. Well, what do you... What do you think? Pets, in it? Pets, yeah. Every, and then every, if you get a rooster, then you can... Um... Piss people off, innit? Yeah, but you got a alarm clock, innit? Oh, uh, you know, we had one in Thailand, right? The most annoying thing in the world, right? And guys, six o'clock in the morning, it's just like... Cock! And I'm just like, oh, shut up, man. We just came back from drinking like 30 minutes ago. Like, we, it was it was like the most annoying thing, yeah? And my friend had a drone. So we went looking for it and figuring out where it was. Because the thing is, our hotel, you're like, let's say this is like Phuket, right? This is like the city where we were traveling to to get food, uh, party, clubbing, whatever, right? And we were in the village outside. So obviously, the funniest thing, guys, yeah? Phantom and Mr. Chill and everyone, yeah? We, we landed in Thailand. I saw a cow literally walking out of the airport, right? I was like, are we in the right country? Are we back home? <laughs> and the cow was just like looking at you. It comes out of the doors, yeah? And we're, we're looking at it and it just goes, Meh, and just walks off. And I'm like, what country are we in? And then we were in the car going from the sea into the village, right? In, in Thailand. And it got more bizarre because there was like... um. There was more cows than like pigs running around as well, and I was like so confused. Do you know what cow I want? I want a Highland cow. Have you seen it? It's the like a ones. fluffy one. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. By the way, no, no shot to like Thailand or Indian people. Nothing. It was just like very. It was very funny. I don't know why I expected one because I've not seen anything from. Like I didn't see any videos or anything. Like I just assumed it was like I don't know, like some Western world, right? I thought it was just gonna be like empty. Nah, there's just like cows and everything just walking around like it's a casual day and I was so lost. Um, even if you ask the dowry, uh, you can be jailed. Um, yeah. yeah, in rural areas, people get uh, still practice it, yeah. Uh, most annoying uh, thing is high ping uh, in ranked match mid-game. Mr. Chill, what are you playing? What are you playing in terms of uh, game? Phantom, are you going to be joining us uh, for ranked and stuff or not? Because I know you said you wanted to join yesterday, but you uh, didn't actually do it. By the way, guys, we're just letting the dough rest, in case anyone's wondering. Hold on. Literally, all we have to do now, because the sourdough starter we've done, we're, li we're letting that baby sit. 
uh, every single day on Instagram and on, of course on Discord, I will take a picture and you guys can see what it looks like every day or every evening. So that way you guys can see like, oh, what, what sourdough actually looks like. Uh, once again, the sourdough literally has only 50, uh, 50 grams uh, flour, 50 grams water, and that's it. Uh, Phantom goes, rank for what? Uh, for Overwatch. You gonna be joining us or no? Sorry guys, I'm just like seeing if the Sukon's still frozen. Mr. Chill says void train, lol. Um Wait. Void wait, void train has ranked in it. Wait, what? How was it by the way, uh Chill? I see I saw you DM'd me. But because we went live roughly around the same time, I didn't uh get uh, I didn't get a chance to like read it, so I'll only get to see it like later on today. How was it? And also, I have downloaded Martha is Dead, so we do have like a proper long horror story uh game to play. I think it is around like six to eight hours. What were you playing um, yesterday? Yesterday, uh, you were screaming a lot. I wasn't screaming. I you was. Were definitely screaming. I was. I was loudly speaking on ranked. No, you were screaming. I was getting scared, like because you were randomly screaming while I was watching TV. Alright, you want to see why? Yeah, hold on. For anyone who's not seen it, yeah, we are going to be making a TikTok over the weekend, yeah, so you guys can, uh, like watch or like kind of like a library essentially. Can I? Can I edit? Edit them. There's nothing to edit though. That's the thing. Yeah, but can can I edit it? Because I don't trust you. And I want to I wanna see if I still got my editing skills. Fine. All right, hold on. Look at this, yeah? Uh... Maybe this one? If you click on it, that's it. It'll play. Hold on. I'll let it buffer. Looking around at the same time. Did you hurt yourself? Nah. Oh. I wasn't expecting that, that's the thing. But it's a horror it's a horror game, you should always expect it. <laughs> and then if, Okay, Miss Heartless. And, and if you are scared, you shouldn't tell people, you should keep it to yourself. You don't need to show people your emotions. Well, hold on, I think this might be one as well. Out of the toilet! It better not be a snake in that toilet. We're about to find out, guys, if it decides to load. We'll never find out. I swear, it better not be a snake. Hold on. Let me, let me switch out to... Uh... Can we restart it? Why are you flushing the toilet? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, guys, there's something gonna be coming out of that. It's a bad toilet. At some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I bet you shat yourself there as well. Yeah, I missed the opportunity to use that joke, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I did miss that opportunity. Oh, I shat myself. <laughs> and you just missed the toilet as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, you're, bad, you're a bad streamer. You can play some horror games and uh, we can see how it goes. You you know damn right I'm just going to be hella silent. Even when I get scared, I'll be like, scared. You might see the, like, the mouse and everything shake, but other than that, like, I'm not very outwardly emotional. Like some of us. <clears throat> Stanley. Uh, um, uh, oh, you probably haven't even uh, updated the game in six months. Uh... Wait, what? Overwatch? Wait, Phantom, did you not play with us, like, not too long ago? No, it doesn't have ranked. Uh, the f I faced lag issues while playing with Dom. Uh, yeah, don't trust Tristan. Mr. Cho, you're supposed to be on my side, not her side. You see her once a week, where you whereas you see me five times a week. Yeah, but, you know, you get a vibe, and people just don't vibe with you. They just don't like wow. you. Hi right, guys. They tolerate you, at Guys, the stream is now called Mochi720p. I just want to put out there. Oh, he's going. I wonder if he called me. Nope, he didn't call me. Oh. Sorry, we, we have... He just didn't want to disturb. Yeah, our uncle uh, usually goes to the doctor's uh, near our house and he parks his car. 
Usually he drops by, but uh, it looks like he's just heading out. He might have to go to work. Hold on, guys. We're just <laughs> we're just like staring into the driveway. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if he's just like parking his car properly or yeah. if he's leaving. But sometimes the thing is, uh, he's not allowed to eat certain foods at home. Uh, this is so he comes here. So he comes here to eat. <laughs> Like, there's nothing, no problem with that, because we usually make, like, sweets and stuff. Uh, even, like, his uh, son, uh, my cousin, uh, he, he, he's like, oh, yeah, I don't want to, like, make certain things. Like, can you make it for me? I was like, all right, go on, just tell me what you want. So we made, like, cheesecakes for him, we made, like, uh, all these things. And he's like, bro, you're the worst person to, uh, for, like, having making goods. Because the thing is, yeah, I don't add a lot of sugar. I let the sweetness, like... Uh, I let the sweetness come from the things I'm putting in. So like, let's say cheesecake, right? I don't put a lot of sugar, but I put in strawberries and stuff like that to add this like natural sweetness to it. And I made him an eight inch cheesecake, guys. He goes, yeah, within an hour, he finished eight inches. Of wow. just of just of just cheesecake. And he was like, bro, don't ever that do that again. That was mean wording, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, don't make it, don't make it for us again. <laughs> and he goes, I didn't even give it to mom and dad. I just, I literally just walked into my room and just ate it all. And I was like, come on now, like that was an eight inch. Yeah, you're supposed to like be sharing that at least. He was like, he, he goes like, it was just too cream. It was just cr very creamy. I just like, enjoyed it a bit too much. And then he goes like, there was not enough. It wasn't like a your, lot of sweetness. Your twist of words are like really dodgy right now. <laughs> it's like it wasn't a lot of sweetness, and it just. It, like it wasn't like overly you know like when you go to like supermarkets and stuff it's like overly it sweet. it wasn't sickly sweet yeah it was it was sweet enough that you could keep going back to eat more. yeah because i don't know how many of you guys have like, had like cake right uh like cake or you've had like cheesecake and stuff right and you just like you can only eat like a little bit of it at a time like there's times where even we had like chocolate um like chocolate oh cake my, oh my god yesterday we never told you guys so not yesterday day before yesterday Sunny bought uh, a chocolate cake. We finished like a decent sized cake, maybe like this big cake, in two days. We ate half the cake in one day. I mean, ate the other half of the cake yesterday. Like, we finished, we've got a problem. Yeah, but it wasn't sickly sweet, innit? It wasn't, it was nice. Yeah. You, it, you could keep eating it. You could eat, keep eating it, but there was a point where you're like, actually, you know what, it's a bit too much. Too much chocolate. Yeah. Too much cake. Yeah. Um. 720 in uh 2023 yeah fellow it's because you didn't subscribe bro now we don't we, we don't have any of the good stuff now bro i can't believe it man we, we've lost all... actually wait guys do you have uh, video options actually saying that if you guys go into the corner of your screens yet yeah, do you guys have video options uh i haven't actually checked since i've switched over apply water to burnt areas <laughs> shut up guys yeah shut up all right should we start off with uh with making some dough? Yeah. All right, so over here, we've got All our right. My frogs. sister's making the dough, guys. Let's go for it. We've got frogs guarding our dough. So what we're going to do is we're going to go say hello to the dough. Hello, dough. <laughs> and that's it. The worst thing is that you hate children. So, like, you just entertaining it like that is the worst. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's, 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 like, a certain... Oh, it's going to sound dodgy. Whatever I say is going to sound dodgy. <laughs> it's just that. I, I prefer it when the kids can go to the toilet on their own and they don't require me to remind them to flush the toilet and wash their hands. And at the same time, they know not to drink from the toilet. I like, when, I like to have Wait, conversations. Well, what, what children have you known that go to the toilet and just drink? The, the smaller ones. Okay. Like, do you know, like, the... Could you get a, could you get a pan out, right? And then put some greaseproof paper on it, and then yeah, that's it. Then I can stop. Now. Yeah. So we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna start rolling out some dough. We are not gonna be using our very nice chapati vellum. We are gonna be actually using a proper roller pin because uh, two reasons. One, I am not very sophisticated in the in the roti making. Only my sister is. Uh, so guys, uh, she is available. <laughs> Stop trying to sell me off. <laughs> oh, we don't have the, the big with? square one, the big rectangle one. Sorry. Yeah, we do. Some of them. No, it's not. Oh, there's a little bee right here. No, I'd see it. It's not in that. Where is it? Is 
Is he in there? No. You gonna check the living room? Hold on, guys, wait. Our plan goes out the window if we can't make a freaking. Is it not inside? See guys, this is why um, there's a little bit of a struggle in this house. Things... So I don't even know how that goes missing. Then we can just use the... Rectangle one. We've got one at the bottom. We use both of these. <laughs> what did oh. you say it was? <laughs> It was in the oven, guys. You know what it was? The 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 wider ones were at the bottom, and the th this is it's like a really thin uh, tray, so it's stuck on top, so you can't see it. Um, I was subbed for a year, Phantom. Bro, those are excuses, yeah. I've been streaming for like twenty years, bro. Twenty? How old are you? I'm nearly some age. I don't know what age. Uh, I don't really, uh, I don't want to bully Stan anymore in the fear of getting banned, but I'm really tempted to do so. I won't do ban it, him. Do it. <laughs> What's missing? Never mind. Nah, don't, don't worry, Mr. Chill. You know, you'll never get banned, bro. Unless you're like overly rude. What I mean by overly rude is uh, you call me like a, a princess killer or something. <laughs> princess? <laughs> only the inside joke of the mods, yeah. Only the inside of the jokes of the mods. Yeah. I'm a mod. Yeah, no, you should understand it. I don't. From recent events. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You are, though. I just want to let you know I don't have any... Um, affiliation with Affiliation with any royals. <laughs> but when there's free food, I do want to be a part of it. <laughs> so, guys, it'd be better if you guys roll, roll it into, like, a square or whatnot. Um... As you can see, I'm very good at making round stuff because <clears throat> I smoke weed. Uh, You're such you a liar. <laughs> Make me look good, man. Yeah, I smoke. How bare... does that look round to you? Oh, I thought you were gonna say, oh, I, sm I don't smoke weed. <laughs> that's up to you. That's your personal life. I'm not getting involved in that. But at least don't openly lie to them. <laughs> about wait, what? Oh, about about making, about oh. being round. I thought you were gonna make the thing about weed again. No, I said that's your business, none of my business. Guys, yeah, I like, I like smoking. Yeah, the better you make it rectangle, the easier it is to make it. By the way, guys, so we're gonna just try and. Phantom's been following for seven years. Coming up to eight. Can't believe it, Phantom. You've got a number one super fan, and still not VIP. He goes. Yeah, I don't have a VIP badge no more. What do you mean? I lose everything because I've, uh, I've, I'm not affiliate anymore. I was never a VIP either, Phantom, and I'm related to him. Yeah, you don't deserve it. Very good. I did have, I actually do have enough points as well, but I just didn't want to redeem them after because I was like, it's not worth it. You know the funny thing is, yeah, guys, Raz, yeah, he's not been in stream for a while. Raz has been trying to accumulate all his money, uh, his points, sorry, so he could get uh my WhatsApp, <laughs> and now he will never get it. <laughs> he oh he could just ask me. I'll give it to him. No, no, I don't. <laughs> oh. We don't like Raz. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Mary goes, uh, you need to piss me off to get banned. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you, you can't piss off Mary. We like her. <laughs> Mary's the only good one. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I said it. I heard it. You heard it, Phantom. You heard it. All right. There you go. What you want to do is basically now add all your feelings and just roll it up. So you can uh, do that. Phantom goes, what is he doing? Yeah, when you, you did, you never gave it. At least you had mod. All my channel points are gone. Wait, channel points are gone. Yeah, channel points was never. Uh, once you leave affiliate, that is just one. I right, oh, okay. You can do it. Add oh, what you want. You don't. You don't want to do your one first. Nah. Uh, so here you see this yeah, oddly be quick shaped. About it before it sticks to the thing. Sorry, oddly shaped pizza dough. I'm gonna be quick about it. I'm gonna open this pizza. Uh, sorry, it's not pizza. It's pasta sauce. I have 300k Phantom, you could have actually been mod with that kind of thing. Or you, you could have even bought VIP with that. Should I do it right to the edge? Or not? Uh, nah. Because the thing is, uh, VIP, 
only cost you like a hundred K. So it kind of, it could, you could have just technically just bought it if you wanted to. Just don't put that out there, Phantom. Not very smart. No. I don't want to buy something I already uh, deserved. That's true. I was about to say that as well. Look, Phantom, yeah? Oh, don't press down, yeah? As well. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just moving it. But let's be honest, Phantom, yeah? I think I put too much. No one deserves it anymore because I don't have it. <laughs> now, nah, I mean, we, we, we're going to see what happens with uh, this streaming stuff anyway. Um, because, oh, guys, give me a second. Okay, so I've done, I've done the basic dough. Sorry, by the way, uh, when it goes like framing up like that, it's because our, our charger is like fucking up. Uh, we are sorry about that. You can't say that. You can't say the F word. Okay, and then here you see that I've got some spinach, some onions, and some red peppers. Which, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Should I put it on like normal pizza toppings, or do I do like a line at a time? No, nah, you can add it like how you would do, normally do it with a pizza. Okay. So I've done a lot of onions, but Stanley doesn't eat onions because he's a bit bizarre. So... No, this is your one anyway. You're going to be putting like jalapenos and stuff, no? No. I, I mean, I cut a lot of onions. Oh. But Stanley doesn't eat onions. No, I'll, 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 don't worry. I'll, I'll take some. I mean, we've got three pizzas anyway. Yeah, but I don't want you to eat onions if you don't like them, so... <laughs> it's okay. I'll eat them tomorrow or something. And then I'll do some spinach. Uh, I don't want to buy it. Uh, fix Stan's mess. Thank you. Oh, I'll leave some spinach for you. By the way, guys, you like Stan? Uh, she's missing like quite a bit there. Could you like, like there's like an entire area where there's no sauce. We are going to be rolling this up, guys. Yeah, because it's, it's going to be rolled up. Uh, I don't want the sauce to leak out from there. And then that way it will be a cleaner. Like finish. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Where are the mushroom, olives and chilies? Oh, no sugar. mushrooms. Uh, olives, uh, my sister doesn't like. And chilies, uh, we're going to be adding on top. Uh, we have chilli oil, which we're going to add. Uh, originally, my sister was like, oh, let's add uh, jalapenos to it. But then I was like, we're going to add, add chilli oil anyway. So there's no point. Can you give me some chilli flakes? And I'll put some chilli flakes on here. I'll just put some cheese. It where, looks where good. It? Does it look good on camera? I feel like it looks it looks so nice. Take a picture in it. Uh... I ruined it. Oh, I didn't put my... We have chilli powder. Oh, wait, there it is. I found it. I found it. There you go. You can add a bit more cheese, you know? Yeah, wait, I need to add my... Onion? Mushroom is nice, Can you add, man. can you open it? I love please? mushrooms. The only reason I haven't added it into this one is I didn't actually... I haven't been shopping. This is all just stuff in the house. Oh, wow, look, those mussels came in hand. Woo! What cheese is that? Uh, uh I think it's... Hold on. Cheddar? Mild cheddar. Yeah, it's mild cheddar. Uh, because obviously we're gonna... We... Don't eat cheese. So we're going to use everything that's in the fridge and stuff. That's literally, actually our mum's leftovers. Literally, the only thing we've left, like we actually went to go buy, is one flour and pepper. That's it. And this. Oh, and that. Which is uh, what? Pickled what? It's just, it's called sweet pickle because there's, it's a pickle of carrot, sweet, sweet, onion, cauliflower, and it's a mix. Usually, like... Say, for example, Branson pickle is called pickled onions because it's just chunky onions. But this is a mix. But it smells the same. Why are you putting chutney on the pizza? <laughs> the thing good. is, yeah, bro, Phantom, have you ever been to Pizza Express? Have you tried their uh, sweet onion pickle uh, pizza? Bro, it tastes so good. The thing is, I don't really like it when we make it at home because with stone baked pizza, it tastes actually quite nice. Is that mochi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. That was baited, by the way. Hello. Uh, another train with baddies. Do. Oh, my cow with the first enemy in Void Train. How long did it take, uh, Mrs. Chill, to get to uh, where you are in Void Train, by the way? Nope, never had it. Uh, get some paneer on it. it might, uh, might as well now. <laughs> oh, we don't have paneer, we, don't, we used it last week, bro. Uh, where are you here, Phantom? We made... Um, what, what did we make? We made uh, chili paneer. Chili paneer. Yeah. Uh, and I have a gun, and uh, it's not lagging. Alright, done. Shall I... I haven't actually... I'm not going to lie to you, Mr. Chill. I haven't looked at anything. Uh, Void Train. Because I literally went off stream. Ate. 
right? And then chilled. What did we watch yesterday? Oh, we watched Silo. Silo. Silo, guys, if you've not watched Silo, it's such a good thing. Uh, it's chili. Uh, chili, by the way, that she's putting on. You want me to put in chili oil as well, or not? Nah? Yeah, oh, but that's towards the end, isn't it? Like, right. once it's already cooked. Boo, Mochi, she's not cooking, she's watching. No, that's her. <laughs> that's her. <laughs> Whenever you see the purple socks on, on screen, that's her. That's not me. You think, you think on, Stanley's locking these nails, mate? <laughs> Bay Bay it's definitely uh, uh loves these streams, you know. <laughs> uh shall I roll it or do you wanna roll it? No, you roll it. Uh I'm not that confident. Don't lie, we know you do weed. Can you not like advertise that to everyone? <laughs> My no, personal no business is no one else's. <laughs> she doesn't do it by the way, guys. <laughs> I don't think I can roll it. No, go on, you you're doing a good job, you're doing a good job. Very good. She's doing really good, guys. She fucked up a little bit in the middle there. It's right done. Okay. Now what you want to do is... Transfer it onto there? No, you want to cut it. Oh, I want to cut it first. Cut That's it and I then like... Do. What you want to do is... Wait, did you roll it properly? I don't think you have. I haven't, I haven't sealed it. I haven't sealed no, it. No, I'm checking if you've rolled it properly. I don't know. Can I suggest a movie? Oh, by the way, tomorrow... Uh, Sorry, no, tomorrow. It's today, innit? It's Thursday today, innit? Yeah. yeah, guys, we're going to be watching Smile later on today, bye, uh, oh. by the way. So if you guys want to uh, join in for the horror movie, guys, feel free. It's made by the same people who made Saw. Uh, it came out last year, by the way. I'm flattered by Stan's nails. I know, baby, I know. What can I say, bro? You like you like that nice, uh, what, what's it called? Clean-kept nails there. But yeah, we watched uh, Silo yesterday. We watched about two hours of it. And uh, it's a TV show that's uh, been produced by Apple. Um... Is it called Apple? What, what are they called? What's the streaming service called? I don't know. Apple. I don't know. Might be called Apple, guys. But, uh, yeah. Shall so I cut it? Go for it. And, uh, yeah. So basically, it's made by Apple. And, uh, you know the character who plays the mum in Dune? Uh, who's uh, Timmy, uh, Timmy Shamalonola's uh, mum? Basically, her, uh, she is uh, the main character in there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a dystopia um, TV show about... How the world went to shit, and uh, they're living in in a silo essentially, and that's it. I don't that's know if that's is. maybe I'll do it a bit smaller, a bit thicker, no? A bit thicker. Yeah. Is that not? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, there you go. That looks nicer. But guys, by the way, uh, this is a pizza wheel. <laughs> you can't really see the wheeliness. Yeah, it's because it wasn't a tight roll. Can you not? What? Can you not like? You're the one that told me to roll it. Should have done it. No, nah, it's your pizza, innit? I want you to have like a little bit of personality to it, innit? That's how it works. Wait, where did the pizza go? I went to get a drink and now it's gone? <laughs> We're making pizza wheels, bro. It's been rolled up. I think I might have put too much topping. Nah, it's, it's the tightness of it. That's what it is. We'll see what it turns out like in the, in the oven. It's going to turn out great because I did it. It looks good. It, honestly, it's going to taste so banging. I wouldn't even mind that it's a bit messy. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. It, 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 even if it doesn't t look look good, it's still gonna taste like pizza, essentially. They've just gone higher and higher. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Domino. What are you saying, Ben? How you been as well, bro? How's uh, life been treating you, or not? Bro. What? He's gonna take the Mickey out of that. Why? What do you mean? Proper, proper London. <laughs> Yeah, from... he's, he's from London as well, man. What do you mean? No, he's not. Where's he from? I don't know, but it's not London. <laughs> uh, trying to wake my mum again, uh, but tricks on you. Uh, she's already up. Wow. Dom, look. Yeah, that was one time. Wait, where's, where's Babs from? Bristol. Yeah, I think it's the same place. Uh, Dom, look. Yeah, just give the phone again to your mum. Yeah, I'll, I'll happily speak to her and whatnot. Yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll I'll apologise to her properly, yeah? Guys, by, by, by the way, guys, uh, exclamation mark sites, we are streaming on everywhere, anywhere. Um, 
How are you offending people's mothers? Huh? How are you offending people's mothers? I was playing mothers? a horror game and Dom thought it was smart to have me on the loudspeaker. Um, oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Uh, basically, mini mini enchiladas. Well, enchiladas would be through. They would uh, have pizza. They would wrap. have pizza sauce on top as well. Yeah. Sorry, pasta. Oh, I don't know. P yeah, pizza sauce. P pizza or pasta, same thing. But yeah, it, it, it's through wraps essentially. All right, all right, all right. That's it. That's it. Wait, no, 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 no. Leave one so we can see what it turns out with. All right, and then you can throw it in the oven. You do not throw it in the oven, right? You place you place it gently because they are. Towers of pure heaven. Admit it to your sister. Uh, this is Dom, by the way. Admit it to your sister that he yelled so loud that Domino yesterday he woke up my demont uh, my demented mo Wait, what? Did you just call her mother demented? No, that's what she said. Uh, he woke he woke up my demented mother who threw something big and large at the wall and was not happy uh, to be woken up. Oh wow. That's that's gonna need a massive apology. Is there a ho hole in the wall? <laughs> is that uh veggie cheese uh it's mozzarella cheese uh, not no. mozzarella. mature cheddar cheese yeah. uh because we have so much left over like things in the fridge and stuff uh we're just using up like, whatever we like kind of had it's our mom's uh batch of cheese that she should she should have finished before she left but she didn't so alexa time or 10 minutes thank you Oh, you actually said thank you for once. You should be nice to your robots, Look, look she, she, Yeah, guys, with AI coming, yeah, you guys need to be careful, you know. <laughs> You've called her. You've called her nasty things before when she doesn't listen. Yeah. She's going she's gonna to wake up one day and just come for your throat. Uh, could you, like, eat this, please? Oh, you're not going to put it in yours? No. Where's the lid? Mm, yeah. We don't like the sweet pickle, yeah, because we're not kind of... Uh, we're already sweet, you get me. Uh, <laughs> what are you chatting about? What do you mean? Can you not know, see by the comments that I'm a very sweet person? No, you, you <laughs> woke up someone's mother. Uh, I was talking about I was talking about the Nubby effect. Did you forget? Uh, did you forget? Mum has dementia. No, I don't. Uh, and to think we were engaged, always be nice to robots. <laughs> yeah, know, be nice. Wait, nice wait, wait, you said you, you we were engaged, yeah, Dom, did, when did we break up? Because you're talking in the pr uh, present tense. P present? Past. Past tense. To think we were engaged. Yeah. I thought we still were, Dom. Yeah, but a couple of months ago you got incredibly depressed. I think that's when you broke up. I'm lying. Yeah, I was, I'm I was just watching. Doing, I'm giving Domino a backstory. I'm giving Domino a backstory. I was like wondering, like, was I depressed? I think I was at work around then. Uh, Mr. Chill goes, no, you are not sweet. I agree. You are not Mr. sweet. Mr. Chill, you can't say that about my sister, bro. Look, yeah. Dude, oh, no, I'm she... horrible. I am mean. <laughs> I am not the nicest person. It is so much work to be she... nice. Yeah, she bullies me, guys. I just want to put that out there. To be honest, I was really mean to you for a really long time. Yeah. I regret she, changing. She, she hurts me, and then she would bullies me sometimes. And I cry? What are you trying about? I'm the nicest person. What the hell? You just... You're backtracking now. You're saying, oh, you're the horrible... I'm now, like, the nicest person. I, I try so hard to be nice. Yeah, see you guys. Uh, yesterday, when it took 90 minutes to calm my mom down. <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing at her. Yeah, mom. that's that's fair. I understand why that's a breakable offence. I made green green bean casserole this week, uh, and it was too soy. Do you not try, do you not try it, uh, like, every every time you put salt in it? Uh, Dom. What's green bean casserole? Go on, Dom. Explain it. Is that one of beans? That one. Green bean. I can't remember, green you know. Beans. I think I've seen it, but I don't exactly know what goes in it. Dom is sweet. Stands evil. Uh, I didn't. I didn't saw it. Wait. So how did it become so salty then? Oh, so I guess I guess the canned beans have. Oh yeah, that's true. So oh, yeah. I guess if it depends if you buy fresh or like tins, isn't it? Dom is around the age of uh. And Dom is around the age of my mum. It's green beans, uh, cream, 
of uh, mushroom soup and fried onions. Uh, I think it was onions and extra soup mix uh, added the flavor. Jeez, chills. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I was, thought, yeah, I that's, that's gonna, why that, that, that's why I skipped out on I that th- as well. I thought we were just gonna walk straight past that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, by the way, guys, could you get that the curry sauce? Oh, I got something. I got something. Anyway. Um, Dom, I don't know if you guys can find this in your country, right? We've been eating a lot of these. Uh, we bought it from Lidl. Yeah, we bought it from Lidl. Some from Audi, right? And uh, we've been because the thing is, we we are working out now, right? So I don't know if you guys can see my gains. Oh, look at that. <sighs> Alright, look, this is not like a really good... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a really good angle, innit? That was great. Yeah, but I, I put on so much muscle, like, you can admit, innit? I put in. Yeah, he, he's got good he's got good arm muscle going on. Whereas I'm... It's, it's embarrassing. I can't put on any muscle. Yeah, anyway. Um, we've been using, like, pre... Can you pre- pretend to encourage me? Yeah, you look so good, but you've not worked out in, like, ten months. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> It's not been 10 months. But, but, but yeah, guys, if you can find this sauce here, yeah, um, we've been adding it to all our protein food. So, like, whenever we're eating beans, whenever we're eating chicken and whatever, right? Uh, we always use this, uh, like, obviously not, like, madras. We, there are, like, multiple ones. Could you show if we have any more? We do have, like, different kind of Indian spiced ones. Uh, there's Chinese spiced so ones. Crazy. No, uh, we, both, we used Bauti yesterday. Yeah, we used Bauti yesterday. So, I've got a lot. I literally, I, I was like, one day I was like, you know what? I don't want to eat plain food. I was like, you know what, it, uh, guys, do do remember that this does have a lot of fat, so you can't use a lot of it if you're if you're on a calorie deficit. Um, but I add it because I I need flavor. I don't want to eat no like pepper and salt nonsense. You get what I mean, guys. So obviously, when we when we're making this, like we're obviously measuring it, but it's so nice. It's like. I wouldn't say it's near enough Indian spice, uh, Indian, um... You, you definitely have to add spice if you yeah. use your spicy things. Yeah. It's, but it's, it tastes good. Like, it, yeah, it does, it tastes near enough authentic. It's like, not like, oh yeah, it some... Tastes, it tastes more like takeout. Yeah. So like, you, you, it's not like traditional Indian, but it does still taste really, really good. And there's spices on top as well. Obviously, this is like Audi and Little brand. But they give you spices, so you can spice your vegetables, chicken, or whatever, right? And then you have the sauce for the actual curry itself. So good. Yeah, but we eat a lot of proteins and stuff. Like, the thing is, um, my PT uh, gave us, like, um, what's it called? He gave us, like, a thing to live by, right? Like, uh, a full nutritional, like, guide. The problem is... Hold on, guys. The problem is, uh, he doesn't really tell us about like spices and stuff, and I had to work out on my own like, oh yeah, if I, you know, I have to make sure like I spice my food because like the thing is I don't like, I'm new to this stuff like I don't know if I can like you know how much calories adds and stuff. So I got my my fitness pal and I started scanning every spice we have and I realized oh there's literally nothing in here like there's no like calories like there's maybe a few calories but there's nothing in there. And we and struggled I was, like, with our. Traditional food as well. Yeah, so the, our traditional food is high has protein. High, it's high protein, but it's a high fat as well. So yeah. it's no good to us. So we need to make sure our protein is always higher. So when we're eating beans and we're eating sweet potato, we're eating all this stuff. It's just um, sorry guys, I'm like making sure the battery is charging. Um, so we're always like constantly like making sure that we have a higher protein than fat because obviously you want your you want it to be protein, carbs, and then little as fat as possible. But with our traditional Indian food, it was fat, carbs, and maybe like protein, like level off with carb carbs as well. But the thing is, yeah, when it changed drastically, we had to like make sure like how we can like survive and eat this food constantly. And we started like mixing things up. How's it looking? I can't tell. We need to clean it. <laughs> uh, I put a 10, 10 minute timer on it. But yeah, I don't like spicy though. So you can obviously get other. Yeah, if you if the what I would suggest is Dom and of course anyone else. Those spices in 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 those curry sauces I showed you isn't actual like heat spice. It's actually masala. Um, so it's not like oh it's burning my throat uh, heat. It's actually oh it's the spices like all gathered together and just like those spices are like coming to it. So if you don't like chilies and all that stuff, then obviously I wouldn't add any more to it. But you will find like not chili heat. It would be masala heat. Sorry guys, let me quickly just like uh, scroll through chat, see how much I missed by the way. <laughs> Mr. Chill didn't even say sorry, he was like, yeah, I'm running with that. 
Oh, done, guys. I'm sunny. Because uh, I'm because I'm not because uh, I'm streaming on Kick as well. I don't have the Kick app, so I have to quickly just keep going on my phone and making sure there's no one talking on there. Sorry, guys. But yeah, once again, uh, we will be making a TikTok library um, for all the clips we've had on stream. Uh, so that way, you know, you don't have to like look at the browser or look through our like you know Twitch. Um, look through our like twitch like clip section and you're like oh i want to find like funny ones we we're going to be uploading it all onto tiktok so that way you can see like either the popular ones we're going to put on and on tiktok or we're going to so we're going to do two actually we're going to do, do the popular clips that have got the most views on tiktok and also the scary funny horror ones uh we're going to also put on tiktok as well so um that's why i keep asking people to like clip like crazy when it comes to like streams so that way i can like obviously download it uh, what the ones they've edited? Oh, so it's clipped, right? Uh, download it, edit it myself on onto the like uh, apps I have, and then obviously uh, upload them to TikTok. Uh, don't so, forget yeah. to clip your favorite mochi moments because we do like her, um, and she is better than Stanley. We have to admit that. Thank you, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> um, you never asked uh, questions or showed me your TikTok or anything. Oh, I've not, I've not, um... It's non-existent. I, I, it's non-existent right now. I'm not making it until, uh, the weekend because I don't have enough time. Like, literally after this stream, we got movie night. Then on tomorrow, we got stream. Then, like, the weekend is literally the only time I can sit down and just, like, download and edit and stuff. Alexa, stop. Dom, how is your TikTok, Thank by you. the way? Guys, if you don't know, uh, Dom is also a streamer. Uh, she plays a lot of R6, plays a lot of, um... Did you want me to get that thing as well? Hold on. Uh, she plays a lot of like uh, Overwatch and stuff. So if you're into that, also she plays horrors as well. So if you're oh, into I that can't as well, see. so make sure to have the follow button with her. Bit, bit longer. Bit longer. It looks nice, guys. It looks phenomenal. Oh sh. Ooh. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. He said phenomenal. <laughs> By the way, guys, ignore the accents we have. Sometimes we we love like. We take the piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Out too many people. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 uh, we have family members who who are from Manchester, and uh, like obviously they know it's a joke as well. But we take the piss out of it because we're like we put in the accent. <laughs> we used to take the piss out of it when they used to come down from Manchester to visit. Yeah. And then they used to make take the piss out of us when we used to go up north to yeah. visit them. Yeah, he, they used to put in like a a proper London like British accent. Like a cockney one, like one that we don't even have. Uh, movie night. Wow, fandom. This is this is why you this is why you never got VIP, bro. <laughs> you never join our movie nights. I need you there to support me and hold my hand. Um. Wait, what are you watching tonight? Smile. What is it? Horror. It's a horror. You Can know. Can we watch it on the big screen then? Oh yeah, we could actually. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, do we that. can. Let's do that. So we're gonna obviously host it through our laptop, um, and we're gonna obviously. Oh, I don't know if you can host it through the laptop. No, no, we can. Are you sure? Yeah. Will yeah. it be able to handle that? Yeah, it should do. I mean, if it's handling stream right now without issues, it should do. Uh, what what movie when? So today, it's called Smile. It's made by the directors of Saw. If you guys remember those, that Saw movie with the little the little puppet, um, Jigsaw. That's his name. Uh, the, the director of that movie made Smile. Um, so we're going to be watching that today at 6pm GMT. So in about three, four hours? Four hours. It's two o'clock now, four hours. Isn't it? Oh, I didn't even put a timer on. Hmm? So in about four hours, uh, we're going to watch it. So uh, basically, we're gonna. That, that's why we did the cooking stream a little bit early. Is so we could uh, make enough food, chill out, eat the food, and then obviously watch, uh, you know, watch the movie. Enough? Yeah, I mean, do you like it that colour? Then you can keep it that colour. If you don't, then... I'm looking at the cheese mainly. And keep it in there for a bit, a few minutes. Phenomenal, mate. Phenomenal. Oh, I see it. Uh, Discord watch party. Uh, it's on Discord. We're gonna be hosting it through Discord itself. Uh, we originally used to do it through um, what's it called? I can't remember what the app was called. We used to host it through there. Uh, Rabbit. It was called Rabbit. Uh, we used to host it through there, but unfortunately, their program started having issues with my stuff. Um, so I have to uninstall it. So we're just hosting it straight from Discord, like how we play games on Discord. Uh, we're gonna just do it through movies. So sort of like how Mr. Chill does it for uh, you, Dom. I don't know if he actually hosts, but you know. Bro, I loved Rabbit. Rabbit was cool. 
For anyone who doesn't know what Rabbit was, yeah? Rabbit was like... It was like, basically, think about Twitch, right? But for TV shows and, like, movies and stuff. So someone is always hosting, right? And, like, just like people like us. Like, oh, yeah, I've got no one to watch with, yeah? They'd host it. And people would just pop in and be like, oh, yeah, what's up? How you doing? And stuff like that. Oh, really? No, there was no, like, voice chat or anything. It was just text chat. So you could have... You could have I can you make know, friends. I can have friends. So you can have it, like, you know, how we have in this, like, stream right now, right? But on the side, like, here, you could have it as a chat. So you, while you're watching the movie on this side, you can have like the chat like scrolling through, and um, obviously you can turn it off if you want as well. If you don't want no comments, uh, you're less likely to like have people join in. But when people are talking and stuff, like you kind of want it there. Does it not exist anymore? It, it, it's not that it doesn't exist. I think it just doesn't. It's not as popular anymore. So this is guys, pizza wheels, man. Jesus, I take pictures of it. That looks so nice. I don't know about this one. Looks so nice. Does it? Yeah, that one looks really nice. The cheese looks good. This one reminds me of the little one. I don't know how, I don't know how it managed that. This one. The thing is, because you covered it in cheese, right? You can't see like the swelling, but you can see it though. If you, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. This one doesn't have cheese on it, but it's still you can't see it that well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to. I'll give it five minutes to just chill. I think. Do you want to do your one? Now they shut it down. Oh, really? Oh, I can't have access to friends. Discovered a Bob Bo uh, Bob Burgers Bob's Burgers for a rabbit. I discovered it was a TV show. I can't remember. I think someone used to host Phileas and Ferb through there. Because we didn't have the channel back then. Oh god, what? Do you want to do yours? No. Don't worry. Just... Shall I move it on to a... No, no, no. Just let it cool. Because if you don't let it cool, it's going to... Uh, we can sog up. Now they shut it down. I didn't know that. I thought they still had it. They changed the whole business model. So what is it now then? That looks good. It does look nice. I overslept a uh, chill. Please remind me if I miss this one. Uh, looks delicious. It looks so nice. I kind of want to eat that one. Eat it. I don't. I can't tell if it's like if it needs a few more minutes or not. No, it's cooked. Yeah. Guys, if you're wondering how you can tell uh, bread's done, you just give it a flick. I mean, you give it a flick. That's fine. But like in between, I'm worried that it might. Oh no, it's, it's too thin. It'd, it'd be cooked. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, it looks so good though. It's called cast. It's called. It's... Oh, okay. So I've not I've not used it since then. Yeah, go on. Oh wait, there's another there's another sh no, website. The rabbit has shut down. And it's changed. To, it's called cast now. So does it do the same thing? Uh, no. Nah, it's uh, just a private screen sharing software now. Oh, there you go. Oh, I can't have friends now. When did they? When did that? When did that happen, Phantom? Because I used to have a like I had a full on rabbit account linked to my Twitch and all that stuff as well. Oh, can you take a picture, please? I'm. I want to eat it. Yeah, give you me your phone. You have to take it with yours. Um, like three you, years ago. Do, oh wow! Do you that's like my there. background? It's so nice, right? I used uh, Rabbit so much. Yeah, I I used Rabbit to a point where I made an account. Like you don't even need to use. Um, the funny thing is you don't even need to have a Rabbit account to use it. But the thing is, if you want to talk and if you want to host, you have to have an account. But it got to a point for me where I was like, you know what? I'm joining so many people, like, watching and playing and stuff. I might as well just have an account at this point. So, yeah. You know what you could do uh, is you could put it on a plate and take a picture outside again. I'm not going outside for it. Why not? Because it is so frustrating to try and take a picture with one hand. I'll, I'll come out with you. I'll come out with you. Don't worry. No, it's fine. No, I'll come out with you. Don't worry. Don't eat my food. That's what it looks like underneath, guys. Thief. Well, you can eat it, you can eat it. I'm not no, gonna no, say it's anything. hot. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, you're gonna complain to your mum. <laughs> no, I don't talk to mum that often. Uh, my server miraculously boosted this month, uh, so we can do 180, uh, what we never do. Which one? Whichever one looks good. I think this one looks good. I think this one looks good. Yeah, then take those two, then. Well, that one's round, though. You can see this. Yeah, but it's flat, though. This looks nicer in colour, though. This one. Both of them, just take both of them. Do you want me to come out and take pictures with you? Make it quick. No, but you it's not it's not good it's not a good No no it's fine. We just kind of need the grass and stuff. Okay. Alright guys, we're gonna be right back. Just keep an eye on our food. Uh Mr. Make Chill. Sure no one takes it. Yeah, Mr. Chill, Dom, you guys stay away. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Where's your phone? I don't know, you took it. We're gonna be right back, yeah. Super sorry guys. It's just so we uh, if you guys have seen our Instagram, exclamation Instagram, we take pictures outside and obviously with this plane stuff, so you know it's us. Uh, that's the main reason why.
Ooh, it smells like pizza in here. Sorry, guys. All right, there you go. There's your plate. I'm gonna eat one. Double check. Oh, okay. What? Double check what? If you like the photos or not. Hmm. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, oh, that looks sick. Look at that picture, guys. Can they see it? They can. All right. Hmm. Good enough. Because Mitch made it. Mm mm mm. Sorry, guys. I'm like. It's a little bit hot. It's phenomenal. Is it not? Hmm. Just be careful of the pickle because um, even though the cheese is like lava, the pickle itself is baking hot. Is it? Do I move it all onto the tray or do you want to take pictures of your one? Let's Set see how my one turns out and then we'll do it. Yeah, but you're going to need this. Yeah, so, so should I put it all on here? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think a lot of people use our Discord. Um so we don't really get boosted too much. I think we bet I think we barely have like one or two. But that's mainly because we don't really use the Discord for like streaming purposes. Like it's very rare that we actually do at least at the moment. Uh, why we do, um, try to change it as well. No, you can keep it. I just want to. This is my cheese. I want it. <laughs> Where should I leave it? Uh, wherever. Hold on, guys. Still need to make my one in case anyone's wondering. Like, are you making pizza still? We are using um. What'd you call it? I'm going to let that sit for a little bit before we carry on, guys. Give us a second. Sorry, trying to fix a problem. Wait, what problem? You want us to uh, intervene? We can, we can do it. I think you're the problem. Huh? I think you're the problem. <laughs> yeah, you're the problem, bro. Yeah, there we go. By the way, guys, um, the dough has risen quite a lot, as you guys can see. So the yeast was actually working in the end. It just needed a little bit of time to, like, get, you know, inflate itself. It just needed some love. How are you getting your one more rectangular than mine? I'm not. Look, it's already going to turn into a circle. That's not a circle. What do you mean? That is a circle. Where's the power? Oh. No, it is a circle. I'm being careful uh, with my one because my one matters the most. All right. <laughs> we'll see how long your one matters the most. Yeah. As it falls apart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You tell me that doesn't look round to you? No. What does it look like then? It's starting to look oval shaped. There you go. That's not round. There you go then, innit? Oval and round. An oval and a circle are two different shapes. Same thing. No. Different things. Okay, I think. Is that... Long enough, you think? How are you? Okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Okay! Alright, let's go, guys. We're making my pizza now. So, guys, I love my sauce. Don't go crazy, because obviously that's a liquid, so it's going to obviously add moisture to it, so it's going to be a little bit of a... Decide what's top and what's bottom. Yeah, it's the bottom. There we go. That's not enough sauce. I know. I really should be quiet. Uh, Donna goes, the package I sent to my friend overseas of American snacks has cleared customs after two weeks. I'm so excited. 
What friend, Dom? I, I need a word with that person. I thought I was your friend. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Domino goes, I like your sister. I like you too. Wow, Dom. No, no, no. I can't believe it. You sent packages out to other people. And here I am. Yeah. Your favourite. Yeah. I'm you're, chill. you're not a favourite. You were... You were dumped. Quite what? maliciously, actually. Yeah, well, technically two weeks ago, yeah? I wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, but they, they can also, like, cancel a package, can't you? Nah, once it's sent out, well, how are you going to cancel it? Go chase it. Yeah, but, like, say say when you track it and stuff, can't you redirect it to other places? Nah, it has to be in the same country, innit? Oh. Domino can have other friends here. <laughs> no, I'm the only friend, Dom. Say it. Say it. Okay, as you can see, there are peppers going onto the pizza. You have some uh, light... Garnishing of spinach. Spinach, if you must know. You don't have to use the onions if you don't like it. Fine. It's sweet corn over there. Yeah. No, you don't have to use onions. No, I need to use a little bit, you know. Oh, so it looks like you have a very balanced diet. Yeah. So that people don't think you're a fussy little so and so. Oh, did you take a picture of this as well on its own? No. Can you take a picture of it, of it like that? Can you put some uh, sweet corn on it? It looks nice like this, though, no? Okay, stop then. Don't do it. Oh. Hold on, guys. Yeah. How come your one is like constantly adjusting? My one, you turn it off and it just doesn't want to do it again. Um, uh, my AI is probably on or something. Nah, I don't know, I don't pay attention to it. Your one, your one's the same one as mine, though. Uh, Domino goes, my friend who gave me 500 to pay for said snacks and shipping. You have to pay for shipping and snacks. <laughs> Dom? <laughs> have, I, have I ever mentioned how pretty you are? <laughs> uh, Domino goes, yeah, I had no idea how expensive shipping would be. Why? How much, like, how much do they cost? I feel like any sort of over overseas shipping, they always, like, exaggerate the number yeah and especially at customs they'll just like randomly start charging you and because you've already sent out the package you're like okay i might as well pay the customs like it just feels like so much extra expense that they add on because uh when i when i've done it right uh i sent a book less than a kilo right it cost me 50 quid i could have bought that person the book in that country right uh and it would have been what it would have worked out cheaper and i was so gutted because i was like i should have probably done that the thing was, the reason I didn't do that, right, was because at the time we did the giveaway. Uh, so if anyone wondering what I'm talking about, we did a giveaway for aprons and cookbooks, right? Uh, we got sponsored by uh, Insight Edition and they gave us uh, aprons and they gave us books, like cooking books. And we did a giveaways. And, um... Wait, can you, can you be a bit quick? Because I've got a good story here that I need to say. Yeah. Uh, so we had to do the giveaway and uh, it, it cost us way too much to do the shipping and I was like so so gutted I was like 50 quid and the reason that it, co it cost me the, like so much was because I was planning to do um I was doing like British sweets and stuff as well so yeah that was the that was really you, annoying you're gonna have to press down a little bit on the bottom okay so we we heard about your expense story we we're upset that you had to go through that um May you may you recover from that. Anyway, um, <laughs> goes, uh, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic goes. Did you all hear about the dude who wore a silicon butt plug to the MRI scan? Well, now he's suing the manufacturer because it had iron in it, a metal for the magnetic resonance imaging scan. That's wild. Wait. Why did you? Why would you keep a butt plug in? Yeah, for why MRI. would you not remove that? Yeah. That's so dumb. The guy. The guy should. The guy. Should, the guy should get like banned, bro. Like, the guy's dumb. <laughs> Mary said, "Why? Why would someone do that? That's wild. Why would you?" Do, do, does he know what MRI does? <laughs> do, does he understand that you can see what's going on inside of you or what's inside of you? Yeah, but then would that would that metal not damage the MRI machine? No, and it would then, damage him. Yeah, but it would also damage the MRI machine. Maybe, because it, it depends on how it... Could you take a picture of this as well, by the way? It looks Depending so on how the metal would yeah. affect it. 
But then wouldn't the the hospital be able to sue him and be like, you damaged our imaging machine, even yeah, though it clearly states... Yeah, you can counter sue. That's not, that's not the problem. The thing is, it depends on what, uh, what, what country was it in, Don, sorry? That's wild. People are wild. Because if it was in America, you can counter sue. In the UK, you're le less likely... No, 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 no. That's it. Wait, I'm... Just... It's just that... If there's a couple of pictures, then you can decide which one you prefer. And, you know. Alexa, 12 minutes. Can you say please and thank you? Arigato. Gozaimasu. Is, is it like that? Arigato, gozaimasu. That's oh. like, thank you very much. Oh. Arigato. Arigato is just like, thank you, I think. Well, thanks. Yeah, something like that. My, my accent's off. So don't, don't come for me for my accent, by the way. If you could close that. Oh, we got a third one. We're not going to do it in it because he's going to eat it. Oh, okay. If we, if we feel hungry later in the evening, we can make it. That's not a problem. Okay, cool. Uh, back in the fridge? Yeah. Anything back else? Back oh, you should have finished oh. the... What? You should have finished the sweet corn then. No, no, no. If we make it later on. Uh, if you want to... That's what I said. If we just leave it and then later on today... Later on today, if you are hungry after the or during even during the horror stream, we can just make it. Oh, the bulky one is in here. When did you do the dishes? Huh? When did you do the dishes? When you're doing your uh, pizza making. Oh, is it? I didn't notice that. So while you guys are looking at the empty, you can look at these beautiful pizzas I made. Put it in the center. Right? No, no, I'm putting the. Oh. And then you can also look at these two frogs who are guarding our dough. Say hello to the dough. Hello. Wow, that's actually big. Yeah. So hit it and mold it again. Oh. <laughs> Ignore what I did. What did you do? Just punch it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone clip that, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on TikTok. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm doing the dishes, by the way. Stanley is currently doing the dishes. What are you doing? You like the narrator for the Love Island, yeah? No, no, no. Love Island is a dude, isn't it? Try and stab me, why don't you? <laughs> Throwing the knives about. Okay, say goodbye to the doe. And hello to the god from... That scared me. Who is that? It's a raid. Uh, I can't tell. It was a raid. But it doesn't say who and what. Go, go a Jilly, on Jilly raid. Oh! Huh? Jellybean, is that you? Arvina yeah, Jellybean, jelly yes. Um, is raiding with a party of eight. Thank you very much. As you can see here, we have made some pizza wheels and it has got sweet corn. Sp oh, I'm Mochi, by the way. I'm Stanley's sister. Hello. And this is our dough and our two frogs guarding our dough. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, my sister think, seems to think you guys are like children or something. It's, it's easier for me to interact. <laughs> if I think everyone's like a full-grown adult, I'm gonna, it's going to like freak me out and get really quiet. So this is pizza wheels that we made. This is actually my batch because it's got fresh onions and pickled onions slash other stuff in it. And it's got sweet corn and peppers and cheese. Say hello to the pizza that you guys can unfortunately not eat. Thank you, Mary, for the clip, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. What was a clip of? Oh, so, by the way, in case anyone's, like, uh, come to the chat, by the way, uh, Irina, welcome. Welcome, everyone, from the stream, yeah? Uh, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm a wonderful person. Irina uh, cheats on all you guys for me, yeah? I just put that out there. Um, but, yeah, we're basically, today, we are we do cooking streams and we do gaming streams. 
As you can see, we're making pizza wheels. Um, if you've never heard of that, basically it's pizza, but just like wrapped up. Instead of like a flat pizza, it's basically rolled up. Um, it's just basically rolled up, that's it. Uh, we used to make this in school, in our food class, and we made it for the very first food we ever made was a pizza wheel. And my sister was like, oh, we have pasta sauce. Why don't we make like, you know, you, pasta or something? Did you finish the pasta sauce? Nah, it's okay. still got left. Cool. So yeah. We were like, you know what, let's make this. We've not made this in ages. So we decided to make this, and also we're preparing for next week's uh, stream as well. Uh, we're making... Uh, okay, I should probably not show you that. We're making Sourdough Star. So obviously, we're going to be feeding this every single day. If you guys um, want to check out the Discord or the Instagram exclamation mark Instagram, exclamation mark Discord, uh, I'm going to be showing you pictures of what it looks like day by day. So by day five, you'll see it just like puff up like a crazy, a crazy thing. And uh, we're going to be making one... Sourdough, and we're making the sourdough cookies. So if you're into that, guys, uh, you love your sourdoughness, uh, make sure to uh, hit up the follow button with that as well. And uh, if you want a recipe for the sourdough, 50 grams water, 50 grams uh, flour. That's it. Done. Boom. In and a then, container that you can close. Yeah. But uh, not tightly. But just... uh, what, what, what you want to do as well is every single day, feed it 50 grams of water, 50 grams of uh, flour every single day, uh, every 24 hours. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. But Jelly, what were you streaming? What were you playing? Embrace us. Embrace us? <laughs> <laughs> you want a hug from Jelly, do you? Yeah, I want a, I want a hug now. <laughs> um, Enlighten us, you mean? Enlighten us. No, that's the word. That's the word. Also, Apollo, what's up? Um, da, da, da. Sorry, guys. I'm catching up. What was the clip, by the way? Is it on... Discord. Yeah, it's on Discord. Yeah, I hope I would, it's not but me. It's also pull the metal through the squishy parts uh, towards the magnet. Miracle, of course. Uh, he's washed up the dishes. Uh, you are dividing the dough. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, guys. Oh, thank you for the follow. Apollo. Sorry. We're we're streaming on multiple websites. If you guys didn't know, exclamation mark sites. Uh, so obviously, it. I am like looking at like twenty different like things. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> you said it, so I slapped you. <laughs> Don't oh. go back. Oh, that's actually... <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. That's <laughs> <You said> it. <laughs> uh, that's it. Fifty grams of water. Yeah, yeah. Literally, that's it. Apollo, thank you for the follow. Yeah, um, you want a bug stand, a hug? Yeah, I want, I want, I want both. <laughs> Hogwarts! Oh, how was Hogwarts? We still haven't played it yet. Double Apollo, Apollo for Apollo. Yeah, Apollo Pumba, and then Apollo Puma. <laughs> Thank you for the guys. You thought it was my GF? Nah, it's my sister, unfortunately. What do you mean? I'm the best sister someone can have. Look, yeah, there's yeah, pizza yeah. wheels here. And Mary said sorry, by the way. <laughs> it's alright, Mary, I like you. For now. No, no, I don't think that will change. Oh, wow. How, yeah, how was, uh, sorry, how was Hogwarts, by the way? We, we've been meaning to play it, but I, the reason I've, like, not wanted to touch it was two reasons. One, I've been hearing, uh, obviously, this was at the start, right, when it came out. Um, they were having issues, like, lag issues, right? And the second one was, I wasn't too sure what I wanted it on. I wasn't too sure if I wanted it on Switch, or if I wanted it on uh, the PC. Oh, so have you got it? Have you even bought it? I haven't even bought it yet. Alexa? Uh, yeah. Current timer? Three minutes, 40 seconds. No. Thank you. So my ones were wrapped up tightly compared to your one, right? You're going to see the difference. I feel like insulting every time. Why? Because you just like... Absolutely trashing on the fact that Look, yeah. my pizza wheels, yeah, they're more rustic. Don't eat it. It is my <laughs> pizza wheel. I'm hungry. They are more rustic. They are more realistic. They are, um, um, give me another, uh, give me another. Homemade? They are. Robust? Authentic. They are. Realistic. Rombustic. I'm, so, I'm trying to go through my <laughs> thesaurus. <laughs> I can charge you £10 for this. I won't. And I shouldn't. It's not that great, but it'll taste good. Uh, 
And it's got a pickled onion in it. Who doesn't like pickled onion? Appealing. There you go. It's beautiful, mate. Who asked that question? Uh, wait, what? Who asked what question? Sorry. You haven't even eaten the first ones? Yeah, eat it, innit? Start eating it. See how, what it tastes like. That's what Light Knight said as well, by the way. What? Eat it? So turn it around and show it on camera and stuff. Turn it around. Turn it around where? Like this? Turn over. <laughs> but it's, it's flat at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. But you can't just see what it's cooking like, innit? It's so nice and brown. The cheese is like sizzled. You show it. What am I showing? I just took a bite out of it. <laughs> You're not a foodie, man. <laughs> Who asked if you want it on Switch or PC? Oh, no, me. I don't know if I want it on PC or if I want it on Switch. Because, one, I don't have a reason. I don't have a reason to turn on Switch, and I want a reason, right? But also, two, on the PC, they're having issues, but also, like, my PC is so old. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know if I want to buy on it. You get what I mean? Like, once I play it, I'm ne probably never going to touch it again. Because it's going to be a full price game. Um, so like, I'm like, I don't know if I want to play it on the Switch, because the Switch, so the Switch game is out now. Um, and I don't, yeah, again, I just don't know if I want to, like, do it on that or on the PC. I need to go to bed, uh, but I hope you have a great stream and a great day and night. Hey, Irina, thank you for the host, uh, and the, oh, slash raid. Thank you very much, you're the best. We'll give you one of the pizzas uh, on your way out, the one. Take whichever one you want. I, I say you take the big one. Yeah, take the bigger one. What you should have done is picked it up as if she took it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, Irina, take that one. Don't mind if I do! Wait, how do I... Do you have an Australian accent? Oh, sorry, not Australian. He's in. No. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll defend everyone. <laughs> oh, okay, so, Irina, you're, you're British now? Oh, thank you, thank you, mate. There you go. I'm like scrolling up guys uh rest well yeah have a good night uh god i'm hungry now pizza wheels do look damn, damn good D wait for the sourdough next week yeah the sourdough is gonna look so amazing sourdough and <clears throat> when it i will sit on you i mean arena i wouldn't stop uh, what uh sorry my sister's here arena. My days, <laughs> arena, my sister's here you can't be saying that <laughs> alexa <laughs> thank you a bit longer, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, two minutes. Alexa, two minute timer, please. Thank you. Irina, leave those leave those uh, saucy talks for DMs. You. Know? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. <laughs> All of a sudden, like Mr. Chills in chat, Domlo's in chat. Like, oh my God, Stan, what do you do in DMs, man? <laughs> I'm whatever, joking. I'm joking. Whatever I'm joking. it is, just do it. Do privately, it privately, I don't want to know. Yeah, privately, yeah, I don't exactly. want to know. Ugh. I'm out. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> so we're literally like, uh, for anyone who's catching the stream, uh, we are like coming near enough to the end. We're just like literally taking pictures and stuff. Um, if you're wondering what these frogs are guarding. Oh my god, no, please don't. No. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good bit. What are you talking about? Oh my god, alright. If right. you're wondering what these frogs are guarding, say hello to Do. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's now, a good now, now you know. One. Now you know who the adult is in here. <laughs> oh, it's definitely not you, mate. <laughs> but you are. <laughs> hey, look at the frog. He's got in the dough. <laughs> um, but yeah, you pretty much like caught the near enough, like the end of the stream. We're like finishing with the pizza wheels. Uh, we made the sourdough starter as well. Um, so once again, if you do mm -hmm. want to know the sourdough starter a recipe, literally fifty grams flour, fifty mil water, done. Put it in the container, right? And then every single day, every 24 hours, feed it. If you don't see any change by day three, four, then uh, you might need to restart. Might. Or what you can do to kind of like increase it is add a little bit of sugar. But uh, the reason you don't want to add sugar in it is it it will, again, change the way the the bread works or the dough it works. So I would say leave the sugar out completely for now, at least so you understand how the sourdough starter like works. No, no, no. Uh, we're friends. Chill. It's good. Yeah, friends with benefits. Oh, what? <laughs> Go to bed. Yeah. 
I mean, you did it. Uh, uh, what? Um, me reporting in. <coughs> I love that bowl, by the way. Stop. Uh, what the pink one? Yeah, we make uh this pink one. We make uh chip. Uh, not chips. Sorry, we make chapati. So we actually use this dough, uh, this container for the chapati because obviously we're making for we're making chapati or roti. It depends how you want to say it. Uh, Yo. for four people. So it's easier to make it in this like container than in like let's say a bowl. So yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna see my perfectioned, uh, my perfected pizza wheels, guys. I just wanna put it on there. Yeah, they look good. Wait, one second. Where did you put them? Quick, 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 it's hot. Yeah, it did come out of the oven, mate. There you go, guys. Look at that wonderful wrapping. Ladies, you know my number? That one's the best one, I think. Yeah, that looks so good. I mean, all of them, like, you can see the rings in it. Yeah. But guys, what can I say, man? You did good. You did good. My one will taste better, though. If you say so. There you guys go. Uh, me reporting love the ball. That's called immersion. God, they look thick. Not the only thing thick. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Look whoa. at these guns. I'm joking. <laughs> You've already struggled with those guns. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think we'll take pictures of s maybe two of them. Yeah, put it on that plate. I can't. Take it off. Take the ones that aren't there. I mean, do what? Do you want to add a different kind of plate though? No. No? Sorry right, guys, we're gonna take some more Instagram pictures, XMH Rock Instagram. If you guys want to see the pictures in uh, like, what they actually look like on picture and rather than on camera, uh, exclamation mark uh, Instagram, exclamation mark Discord, if you want to join them. Uh, if someone could do that in chat, by the way, thank you very much. Guys, give me a moment. Uh, you know what? Give this a quick wash. While hands are wet. Yeah, I made them a little bit tighter as well. So if anyone's like, yo, Stan, how comes like, uh, you know, these ones look different to this one? It's because obviously I wanted my sister to have a go, right? But also with these ones, I did it a lot tighter compared to these ones. So this one was like maybe, maybe two rolls. So it was like one and then two. Whereas this one was three rolls. So it was one, Two and then three. Um, yeah, I've you're, you're right. I've uh, I've got me a dumpy. <laughs> uh, no, the tissue. If you want to use the tissues, there's a. No, these are dry, so they should be. So yeah, ex again, exclamation mark Instagram, exclamation mark Discord. Uh, you guys can see uh what. What uh what the what it looks like essentially on 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 picture form. Thank you for the follow, Jackish as well. By the way, uh, we are streaming on multiple websites. If you didn't know as well, uh, unfortunately, uh, we were banned uh from Twitch from. Uh... Look at this beautiful cleaned plate. Thank yeah. you, Mochi. You're welcome, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So in case anyone's wondering, uh, Twitch banned us uh because we made so much delicious food. We weren't offering it to the Twitch staff. Uh, so they were really upset about it. So unfortunately, what ended up happening is they uh, banned us. Now nah, I'm joking. Now nah, I'm joking about that. Anyway, everyone's gonna take that seriously. Like, oh my Move god, what did you guys do? This one. The honest, honest. Oh, it's still. Going okay, away. give it a couple minutes. What you're wondering? Uh, literally, we just wanted to uh get a bit more of a recognition from other websites. So instead of like streaming one by one on each each uh, on a different site each day, we were like, you know what? We produce the same content for everything. You get what I mean? So we started streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. Um, in the next few weeks, it should be TikTok as well. So if you want to, uh, you know, keep an eye out for that as well. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing the exact same thing you guys see here on YouTube and on on Kick as well, uh, at the same time. It's about whichever platform is more convenient for you. Yeah, essentially. I don't know if I should put it in a bit longer. You know, it... knock it. It looks good. The color is good. You want to, if you want to do it a bit longer, do it a bit longer. No, it's all right. It might be that it's just a bit, a bit too warm now, so it's a bit soft. Yeah. You wanna try some? No, thank you. But this is like godly. Oh. Can you not drop it on the floor, mate? Oh.
Good. 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 Sorry, you guys are catching us when we're when we're starving. That's gonna be a bit hot now. Hmm? Good. Yeah. Amazing. Hmm. You mind? No. Okay, hey, clean up that little bit on the floor. You don't want to step on it. That was a... There we go. Sorry guys, give me a second. Oh, by the way, uh, in about three-ish hours, we are going to be watching uh, Smile, uh, a horror movie. So if you guys do want to be a part of it, exclamation on Discord, by the way. Just to let you guys know. Uh, fell asleep, but I woke up and some food is ready. Yeah, of course, bro, of course. Just for you, Copper. We made it just in time. <clears throat> uh, so I'll send a uh, photo, uh, basic food, but it's my favorite. Go for it. Photo ready just after one, sure, sure. No, I'm not. I just, it's just hot. Um, why do your, why do your sister's socks match? Because I like wearing matching socks. Yeah. And I actually look after my socks. I make sure that, you know, they get washed together. When they come out of the laundry, they get put together so that when I want to wear them, I wear them together. Where Stanley loses his socks all the time. And he actually steals his socks from me. Those Dobby socks were my birthday socks from a friend. And Stanley just straight up stole them. And he's lost one of them. He yeah. took a pair from my room and he lost one. Ridiculous. Yeah. Guys, look, yeah, it's not my fault. <laughs> and he took the glittery ones. Mo, what is up, my man? Mo, you're catching like the end of the stream, bro. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna take a picture of uh, the food outside once again, right? Uh, if you keep an eye on uh, Discord and of course Instagram, we'll be uploading them on there later on as well as a post, and of course on story. And also, if you want to keep an eye on the store uh, for the for the Saudo uh, Saudo story, every single day I'll be taking a picture. So if you guys want to see what it turns out like, let me know. Uh, and I'll just like basically either link it to you or if you want just like a picture on Discord, I'll just uh, post it on Discord as well. It's up to you guys. So you're going to take a picture of that one. Nice and slowly. It needs to get that nice circle bit. And this one? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. It looks nice though, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, can you do it on your own or do you want me to help out? No, it's okay. I know how much you like to flirt with your chat. <laughs> chat, what have you done? Started a new job recently, hella busy. Oh, what are you working as now? What? Yeah, they got, um... Do you want to put one of mine on there? Yeah, which one do you want? Or are they not oh, good enough? Oh, this one. Nah, this one looks nice. Oh, which one? Move this one so you can see them. That looks nice as well. This one. We put it here like this. There we go. Uh, Stan's mum normally dresses him. Yeah, that's not wrong. You know, my mum actually still buys clothes for me, and I'm like, mum, don't buy anything for me because I don't wear it. So like, she'd be we buying me clothes from like wherever, right? And I'd be like, mum, I probably won't even wear this. And like every single time, like she's bought me clothes, like my sister takes it. <laughs> yeah, I like I I take all the anything Stanley doesn't like, won't wear or stopped wearing. Um. Like stuff that is still good quality, like I would, I would take it off. I take it off him, and basically I act like, you know, normal people they'll don donate it to charity because it's good quality. Um, Stanley and my dad and my mom they donate their stuff to me because I don't buy myself clothes. <laughs> that sounds bad. It's not that bad. It's just if they can't rid of good quality clothes. I might as well wear them, right? I mean, I don't, it's not that I'm getting rid of it, it's more just, I just can't, I don't fit into some of them as well. Yeah, but guess who does? Mochi. Alright guys, we're going to be right back, we're going to take a picture of the food, and we'll be right back.
<sighs> okay, there we go, guys. That's our, that's our food stream. You better give my piece some of that. I don't know which one it is. I, I'll tell you which one it is. <laughs> which one, guys? Which one was it? He's trying to scam food off me. It's this one. Which one? That one. Is there anything else to wash? Uh, no, you're good. Uh, do you want to read chat, by the way? Mr. Chul says, by the way, Stan, the fighting in Void Train is brutal. Um, is that a game? Void yeah, Train? Yeah, Void Train's a new game, yeah. Uh, Mo goes, same job, new company, more dough. Okay. Oh, shall I, show, shall, we, shall I show you our dough? Right, so these... Really, Mo, you have to do it? So these frogs are guarding some dough. Say hello to the dough. Hello. <laughs> okay, I understand why you're getting tired of it now. Why? Because it's just it's such a good joke, and you weren't a part of it, and you didn't make it. And I understand. I understand. I'm outshining you now. Also, yeah. Congrats, uh, Mo, for uh, we got it for the job promotion. Well, yeah. They are not here. Oh, hold on, guys. That messed up there. Uh, they're not here. Uh, quick, someone donate a uh, hundred dollars. <laughs> Go on, Copa. I'll wait. I'll wait, bro. Yeah. Uh, wow, the food is really hot. Uh, can't eat it. Uh, picks up pan uh, with bare hands. No, that that pan cools down really, really quickly. Oh, let's let's uh let's get some eating done, chat guys. Right? Oh, oh, give me my pizza back. That's mine. Do you guys want to see like what it looks like inside? By the way. Just in case anyone wants to like see a cross section. That's gonna look like more dough than anything. Yeah. Our knives are not the sharpest, by the way. <laughs> so, so there you go. There, there you can see like the separate layers and stuff. Yeah, we don't have the not the the sharpest knives. So getting like a proper proper like. As you guys can see. You've got a problem with dropping knives today. Yeah, I know. Did you stab yourself? No. There you guys go. I, I need to eat this, guys. Too nice. Uh, Light Knight says, Pan cools down, food stays hot for days in the bin. Mm. I saw you drop something as well. I don't think this food is gonna end up in the window. It's pizza. Who says no to pizza? Who doesn't like pizza? Um, Sorry guys, I'm just eating. I'm starving. Papa goes, I can't. They don't accept pay safe. You know what that is? Wait, who doesn't accept pay safe? Mm. Uh, Mo goes, I used to get something similar in Sainsbury's Bakery. Um, yeah. We get it from um, Lidl? Or Aldi? I can't remember. Aldi. Aldi. Aldi do something similar, but they do um, just cheese and tomato, I think. For about 89p. Uh, it's good. It's just not the best. You need to reheat it, but you need to reheat it in like the oven or like a panini machine in order for it to taste like really mm. good. But when it's cold, it's not that great, and definitely not in the microwave. Do not. It's, it's not. Your... It's not filling either. Um, like I understand it's uh, it's Audi, so it's not like you know fancy food like M and S and stuff. But the food doesn't. Uh, it's not generally filling. It's, it's that's just it's because it's just carbs, right? Yeah. You need you need to add some sort of protein, something to make it. But they, that's the only version they do. Whereas like Lidl, um, I know Phantom does. I know Phantom uh, buys his pizza from there. Um, Lidl do like an oval shape. Um uh pizza and they put like vegetables or meats or whatever on it already 
So those ones uh, slightly cost a bit more, but they do taste nice. But obviously, again, they're just not very filling because they are very like thin. The dough's thin. The, how much ingredients they put in there is very like scarce. Um, so obviously, when you're making it on your own, you can like dump so much and like whatever you want essentially. Streamlabs donate site. Oh, I. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've got I've got a donation page still, don't I? Um. Yeah, I usually get it in the morning. Yeah, I usually get it in the morning as well because they they get it fresh out of the oven when the when the store opens, isn't it? Yeah. I I used to whenever I walk to Audi because I'm coming back from physio, right? I walk in there just to see if they've got any and if it's fresh. Um, like don't get me wrong, if it's not fresh, I still take it. But when it's fresh, yeah, it tastes good just eating eating on the way out. Whereas obviously when it's like kind of cold, you kind of don't enjoy it as much. So like I I usually put it in my uh, instant pot and just like cook it off. It's so nice. I'll eat the plate uh, on, on the right. You're welcome to it. Stanley, do not touch it. Uh, you mean you mean my right? I mean, you're more than welcome to take it. <laughs> I mean, I know, I you know. You don't need to put it on the pad, by the way. Yeah, I know, it's not hot anymore. All right, guys, give me a second. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consume more. I'm starving. Oh, look, that looks so good at the bottom. Just cheese in it. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, no. mm -hmm. uh, Mo goes, uh, yeah, nah, little be just exposing it. Oh, like in the, in the store. To be fair, little have, um, like a, a 20% off every day. In the evenings, like between seven and eight or something. On yeah, other um, day's goods. yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, um, when there's closing time, uh, they do have um like bakery bakery like time okay bakery discounts because obviously they're closing right they don't want to keep the food and plus the staff aren't even gonna take like hundreds of croissants and stuff right so uh, what they usually do is they give a twenty percent discount or even sometimes free with the with the with the, whatever shopping you do which is quite nice but obviously you need the little app uh, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, copper goes. I love potatoes. So does Stanley. I find it too filling. I find potatoes far too filling. Sorry, if you're waiting for a response, I mean, uh, <laughs> I like potatoes, but it's not a lot. Dominic goes, did my TikTok, when are you doing your TikTok? Uh, over the weekend, Dom. It's just so I can sit down and actually just like start editing and stuff. But also, uh, Copa, I like potatoes. I used to love potatoes. I used to eat fries all the time. Hence why I got an air fryer, right? The thing was, the more I kind of ate it, the more like... Chunky I, you got? Not chunky. The more I noticed like my skin breakouts and stuff. So I actually stopped eating potatoes uh, often now. Like I'll eat it in a curry or like... Um, I'll eat it in a curry or I'll eat it like kind of like in a... Like fry form as well. But then, like, I won't eat, like, the fries I used to, like, consume like a pig, right? I, like, you go to a McDonald's or anything, I want fries, right? But I kind of, like, stopped eating, like, fries and kind of only eating curries now. And then even then, I don't eat, like, a lot of it, if that makes sense. Because I used to have a lot of breakouts. I still do whenever I have potatoes. Yeah, but it might, for you, it might be a hormonal thing. The breakouts. No? No. Nah. How can it be horm hormonal if I'm 30, man? You, you can... You still have hormones inside you, by the way. And they're constantly like... Nah, nah, and nah, nah, nah. We, we don't have hormonal breakouts. Oh. We're, we're too manly for that, guys. Sure. Whatever you say, Stanley. <clears throat> but if you see it, if you see a pattern in terms of like every month, in the middle of the month, you're getting, you're getting acne and it's always in a specific area... Mm -hmm. Then it could be hormonal. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Uh, Copa goes. I wonder if they have that in Romania. Actually, that's a good point. I don't know if Lidl do that in every country. I'd hope they would, because it's only, it's fair. I'd say it's fair. It makes sense to sell things that would sell there. Yeah. Sort of like how the Seven Elevens in Japan and Asia they sell noodles and stuff because they know noodles would do uh like sell well there compared to like let's say western diet like 
pizzas and like fries and stuff. You're like obsessed with Seven Eleven at the moment. Uh, Mo goes. A uh, lot of companies love to make things complicated. Yeah, that's across the board. Uh, and he goes, Nah, he just thirty. Hmm? I didn't realize you were that old. Did you turn thirty this year? Next year? Hmm. Shit, you're old, mate. We need to get you married off. Don't worry, you're taking over the streaming stuff. This is going to be a generational uh, Twitch stream, guys. My sister's going to take over, then my kids are going to take over, then her kids are going to take over. No, no, I do not want that. Why? We'll That's see weird. everyone. We see everyone in about uh, fifty years. Yeah, Dom kid, Dom's kids, everyone's kids. I want to see. What a creep! <laughs> <laughs> like that, it goes. Stan gets regular estrogen injections for that manly scream during horror streams. <laughs> oh, actually, that's a good point. I can't scream like that. And even saying that, the last what was it? Last month, month before, there was a mouse in my room, right? And mm. it started jumping. And then it was at eleven, maybe twelve o'clock at night. And I screamed. And then that was the first time I screamed in like decades. I didn't even know I had that in me. And then even though I screamed, my dad heard it. And he still didn't come downstairs to check on me. He was just like, oh, you know. Yeah, girl but it's, scream, it, right? Yeah, but it's dad though, isn't it? And then I had to call my mom and be like, there's a mouse in my room, can you please help me? And then my dad came downstairs and then they tried looking for the mouse, right? They couldn't find it. And they just assumed I I was lying. It's, it's baffling. They, they just assumed I was lying about a mouse. It was crazy. And then I made my dad sleep in that room and that's when he realised... Oh no, there is a mouse in, in the room. And then it ate all my sweets. Oh, I have sweets. Guys, have... guys, listen to this, yeah? So my sister, we, uh, my parents went to uh, Amsterdam. They bought back uh, lollipop weed, right? So like weed infused with, uh, sorry, lollipops infused with uh, weed, right? Like marijuana. The mouse found it, ate it, right? And it's just calm as hell when, uh, when they found the mouse. Yeah, so basically what we did was we took out the drawer and then we went outside with it and this mouse was just chilling in the corner, like, as if nothing's wrong. And then we're taking things out so that the mouse gets scared and jumps out, still refuses to leave. Then we slightly tilt the cupboard, the sorry, the drawer, thinking, okay, if he feels the tilt, he might be more inclined to jump out. My guy's just chilling. And then when he does finally jump out, he starts climbing the wall. What's the kid doing? He's climbing the wall. Oh, so anyway, back to regular. What what's this called? Streams. Regular program. Mm. Copa goes. My genetics are the best when it comes to breakouts. Both parents never had it as a teenagers, but have okay skin in general. And I kind of want to put on fat because I'm underweight with a few kg. I mean. You could add fat, or you could add muscle. That would be cool. Yeah. It's, it's, my, it's so much more difficult adding muscle, but that would be nice. Uh, chill out goes where? That's just an arm? What? Wait, where what? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not that underweight anymore. I mean, I didn't really have breakouts as I was growing up. It was more like as an adult, I noticed because obviously, during during childhood eras, like I was obviously eating food my parents and stuff were making. But you know, when you kind of like branch out to university, college, you have a bit more freedom and you're trying more foods and stuff. And you know, when you kind of get addicted to certain foods, it's like I was in college eating Subway all the time, and obviously it's not healthy eating Subway all the time. Uh, so obviously, like in university, I was eating like more fries and like chips and like. Uh, pizzas and like you know just general junk food so obviously it wasn't good um so obviously the more we kind of the more i kind of experimented the more i realized that oh yeah like i'm lactose intolerant now i'm you know i can't eat certain foods now so if i eat fries the next like week or in the next few days i'll notice a breakout if i eat um if, if i have like you know milk products uh i'm gonna have a stomach issue so it's like certain things like i kind of just like realized over time anyway on uh look at that oh 
Uh, Mr. Chill says, stand trying muscles. Uh, it, look, yeah, if I... Look, yeah, get the camera out, yeah, and I'm gonna just tense for you guys. I don't think they'll be able to see that. I can see it. I see muscle. Yeah, guys, believe my sister. <laughs> mm hmm Uni is about, uh, is all about stress eating. Yeah, bro, trust me. During university, yeah, the amount of, like, junk I would be eating is crazy. Like, there would be times, yeah, like, even when my sister was here, right, we'd order food, like, at midnight. Yeah, we we had ridiculous timing. We were, we were eating, like, four times a day, and our last meal would be around 1 a.m. Yeah, guys, you want to know the, the craziest thing? And, of course, if you go to university, you might understand, might not understand, right? We've gone to uh, we've been in university, right? There's been one time where we've ordered food at four o'clock in the morning. That's crazy, man. Wait, I've done that. No, no we... I used to have a Domino's that was twenty four hours. Crazy. And then you you could always ask them for discounts for student discounts. They'd always apply even if you didn't have like a physical voucher. Yeah, because they know they're close to uni, and that's why. Yeah, and they I think I think they also knew that we were they were getting a lot of business from our accommodation. Area, yeah. It's crazy, man. University, like, it, it, it's good, but at the same time, like, what, they, what they're doing is crazy, man. Okay, you go, I have to pee. Uh, I mean, I tried to build muscle, but I got hurt in the second day of exercise, and I had to take a week of break. Copo, what I would suggest, yeah, is when you're working out, yeah, get someone to guide you. So, like, a PT or someone. Then you're like, oh, Stan, this is going to cost too much. The thing is, just tell them, oh, can you, how do I safely just, like, you know, carry this? Just tell us to say that. Um, because the thing is, yeah, don't get me wrong. As much as you want to be lifting the weights and stuff and like exercise and stuff, you need to do it safely. Because even if you run the wrong way, you, you run, yeah? Like, let's say you run on your like toes. That's fine. But you put too much weight on like the middle of your, like you put too much weight on it or anything like that, yeah? You're going to break something. Like, you, 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 everything has like a form and you have to be careful about it. Uh, I camped out, uh, I camped, I, bleh, I, lol, I camped at uh, the library overnight. Really? Bro, that's mad. I, I know some of my friends have done that as well. They've, like, uh, stayed at the library, like, for unnecessary hours and stuff. Uh, make sure you're doing it right, uh, doing flexible training too. Yeah, so making sure you're doing stretches and stuff like that as well. Because if you don't stretch yet, yeah, um, what, what's happening is the muscles, like, are not, oh, sorry, guys, you can't see it. Then, okay, when you're stretching, this is like the motion your muscles are going to do, right? But if you're not stretching, you're going straight to a workout, it's going to be like this. So you, you, you're going to be moving it very little. So like doing your stretching and like making sure you're like, cur like you know, making sure you're tra training well, essentially. Because like, obviously, uh, that was one thing I learned from uh, uh, the physio as well. They were like, when you were at work, yeah, like the way I injured my back was... Obviously, obviously, they kind of, it made sense, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't be doing that every 10 hours, you know what I mean? Um, they go that you need to, like, really uh, stretch yourself out, because obviously your back is going to give out. If you're if you're not stretching, you're just going to be like this, and it's just going to get tired and tired, the less, like, flexibility work you do. And what she was saying was, obviously, you're working long hours, one, but also two, you are not getting enough breaks when you're working for them. So I obviously it's a good thing that they cut you out. But at the same time, like, yeah, you you're losing that money, like from, you know, not working. But also you're you have to consider that if you break your back in such a bad way, right, you're not going to get up next time. So, yeah, like there, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of explaining that she was doing, which was quite nice. Like she just like said it straight. She didn't like uh, bend around the bush and be like, yeah, you know, you you know, this is what you, you know, like. You know, you have to work out. She's like, nah, look, yeah, you need to understand your back is like a big thing. Yeah, you can't, you can't get uh, this injured uh, and like working so many long hours and stuff like that. Like, I understand people have like, you know, we're in like a, a dire situation at the moment with like the food situation and stuff. But you need to remember, yeah, if you're not here, yeah, then that situation is out, out, out of the window. So, yeah. Um, Flossing them nerves. Yeah. Um, I am uh, using body weights and uh, also got hurt after exercise, and I have no idea if it's affects uh, is if it, it was was affected by it. Honestly, I would honestly just ask like someone who goes to the gym or just a PT and be like, "Yo, uh, just show me how to safely lift and like you know what kind of flexible." You can find a lot of information online, 
the thing is, I I I say this to a lot of people, guys. When you're going, when you're doing it, it's a different ball game. So you have to learn from the proper people. If you don't learn from the proper people, then it's gonna it's gonna be terrible. Look up nerve flossing uh someday and uh, remember it. Nerve flossing. What what kind of thing is that? I'm like trying. It sounds familiar, but I don't know. I don't know why. The other thing that my uh, P, uh not PT, my uh, physio was telling me as well was that um when you're because you're working so many long hours, the thing is your body just automatically gets stiff because it's just tired. So like you 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 have to do stretches uh, so often. The thing is, when I'm doing a ten hour shift and I get one hour break in between those, it's like how can you do that? Like. I waste, I'm doing a 10 hour shift from midnight till about 10 o'clock in the morning. And you're on your mind is like, how can I get through this quick as possible? Right. And yeah, it's just, it's just like crazy, man. You, you can't really like, you know, when you, when you're like, oh yeah, am I lifting correctly? You can't think about that every single time you get what I mean. Like every time you're lifting up a package that you get every second, you're not going to be like, oh yeah, am I, am I picking it up correctly? Am I moving it correctly? Am I shifting the right? No, it's you. The thing is with Amazon, they put it, they tell you straight away. And that's what I hate about them. Like they, they tell you straight away. Okay. You need to work fast as possible. If we don't, yeah, you get two warnings. That was the first thing that they told us. They didn't say anything like, oh yeah, so this is how you safely lift. No safety precautions anywhere until you hurt yourself. Yeah. That's when they're like, okay, now we have to teach you. So I was there for two months, right? There, they, after two months, they added a board. And I think that's why a lot of people disappeared as well. Like some of them got injured. There was a board of how to like stretch yourself. So they had like a full on poster. Whenever you walk into the warehouse, it just is just there. But they don't obviously encourage it, if that makes sense. So they're not like, oh yeah, limber up, do this, do that. They're like, okay, so this is how much we got. We got 80,000 parcels to sort out in the next 10 hours. You guys need to be working quicker to, uh, than yesterday because we were having so many mistakes. Uh, this and that. And I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is probably not a good idea. The funny thing was as well, like the supervisor manager, right? Uh, or the area manager was like, yo, you know, Stan, you're going to be like leaving. Like, uh, we want to make you a manager and stuff. I was like, nah, get out. <laughs> I ain't doing this for 10 hours, man. This is nuts. Um, oh yeah, just nerve flossing. You, you know, you are going to forget. Never nerve flossing in, uh, in Fortnite, <laughs> isn't that just called the floss dance? It's like this. Uh, didn't Amazon UK employees uh, create a union recently? Yeah, they created it literally a, I think a month after I left. A month after I left. So they've been doing this for the last two years and only last month or the month before they decided to do it. So I left in February guys, in March they, uh, so they went on a strike in February, like literally as I left, the union didn't come together until the end of February and they Amazon has been in the country like warehouses and stuff have existed uh, for the last like two to three years. Nuts. Until now, my exercises were only stretches and not, uh, not it's only half. Now, trust me, um, then what, if, if, you're, if you're stretching correctly, right, it could be like what you're picking up is too, one, too heavy for you. You just start lighter or your form's not correct. You just you need to keep an eye on all of that, especially when you're working out, because like you can take all the time in the world, man, with the uh, working out. The thing is, no one's there to rush you. You have to make sure you're doing it safely, because obviously, when you're picking up like, let's say you're picking up five kg, right? You're you could carry you could you could pick it up easy and be like this, like uh, curling all the time, right? You you pick up a fifty kg and you're you got poor poor form. That's gonna that's gonna create an issue after, because obviously, if you're not getting it right at the start. Later on down when you're picking up 50 kg, you know you're gonna be, you know, hurting something along the down the line. So obviously be careful with the form as well. So that I'll definitely just recommend uh asking someone who's actually um I would recommend someone who goes to the gym a lot, one, or just like quickly ask a PT. Like they have no issue, man. They they're, they're the people at the gym, they're there to help you. Like they're, they're not gonna be like, oh yeah, I have to charge you like this much to uh you know gain this information. If you don't ask, you don't get any help. It's pretty much easy as. It's just like life. Um, yeah, there's a ton of great... Uh, <laughs> hold on. 
Are you looking for a job in uh, tech? I am trying to, uh, Mo. I'm trying to. I've applied to like cyber security and stuff. Uh, I haven't had any luck, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, the return of great trainers on TikTok uh, that talk about what you, what to look out for and how to do it right. Uh, was nice to have a personal trainer, but I don't have the money anymore. Yeah, no, no, de definitely. Like, I understand people don't have money and stuff. Like, obviously, Google is a great way to find out. But also, people who go to the gym, they obviously, if they, if these guys are lifting heavy, you know they're doing like something correct. So obviously, like definitely just ask them. Like, yeah, you're disturbing them in their workout, but bro, uh, they they can like carry on with that. Your back would, you get what I mean. Uh, I was not stretching when I got hurt, uh, but the muscles were still weak. Uh, and I, tr I tried to get out the attic with my cat. Hold up. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Um, I was hurt, but the muscles were still weak. And I tried to get out of the attic with my cat uh, in my hands. And I did a one-legged deep squat uh, to do it. And that's when I got hurt. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a sticky one with recruitment. Yeah, bro, trust me, it is, it's crazy, man. Yeah, the layoffs are the layoffs are mad. Uh, with a with a lot of tech industries right now, they thought that they would like they were doing good during the pandemic, the tech industry, right? Like if you're working in any tech right now, right? Uh, even like game softwares and stuff like that, game developers, they all cutting out people because they they they, they know they can't make them. Uh, they're not making enough money now because we're in a, like a recession as well, aren't we? And people are prioritizing anything else but entertainment at the moment. Even even like my Sky subscription. Um, for anyone outside of the UK, Sky the Sky is basically my TV provider. So you know I can watch like Indian channels, you know cartoon channels, blah blah blah. Right. Um, they were fifteen pounds before. I was paying fifteen pound a month. That is so cheap. They've now gone to twenty two pound an hour. Right. And I was like, they were, they've been pestering me. They're like, yo, uh, okay, so your subscription is ending. We need you to, uh, this is the new payment. I was like, no, I'm not paying that. I called them up uh, two days ago. And I was like, no, I'm not paying that. Uh, take off the subscription. I'm uh, I'm done with this. And they're like, no, 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 no. Look, you've been with us for so long. Yeah, you, I've been with them for 11 years, yeah. Um, and they were like, yeah, but look, yeah, you need to understand, like, the while everything's going, uh, you know, everything's going up, including our, on our side, we have to increase it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. But, you know, cancel my subscription. I don't, I, I don't need it then. You get what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not gonna fight for, I'm not gonna fight for a discount and stuff. And then uh, last minute they're like, you know what? We can't do it super cheap like how we did two years ago for fifteen pounds, but we'll 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 cut, we'll we'll make it a little bit cheaper for you. So they've made it, I think, like twenty or something, which isn't too bad, but still, is it's a five pound increase from what it was. And uh, I was like, you know what? If you if you can do it, uh, if you can do it for that price, I'll take it. But I'm not doing anything above twenty. You can forget it after. So l luckily they were like, ah, okay, we'll, we'll do it for 20. So uh, <laughs> that was nice. Um, hold on, guys, sorry. The, the chat ain't even uh, thing anymore. Growing down with me. Not even loyal to discounts uh, thing of the past. Yeah, exactly. E everywhere, a lot of people like right now are just like, a lot of companies, e even like your mobile companies, anything like that, they're all just like saying, yeah, go. We, we don't. They, they've either, one, made too much money now, right? Or two, they know people can't afford it. So, like, even if you try and fight for it, it's a lost cause. Funnily enough, uh, when when the people came to install my Sky, because obviously I went to... Uh, so, for anyone who's wondering, like, we have a satellite, like, box thing that goes into your living room, right? So, they connect the wires from the satellite all the way outside, we ruin it into your, into your box, right? And uh, we were upgrading to the newer one. And um, the guy was like... Uh, I can't remember what he was doing, but I was like, you know what? He's doing a good job. He's, you know, he's he's quick about it, or whatever, right? I offered him some alcohol. I was like, brother, you want the you want cider or Budweiser and stuff like that? And he was like, oh yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take some. And he was like, all right, cool. Because it saved, it saves him because he came at lunchtime. I was like, I was feeling a little bad. I was like, you want food or anything? What do you want like drink and stuff? He's like, well, what do you have? I was like, I if you want cider and stuff, if you're going home, I'll give you some alcohol. If you're if you want some food, I can make you some food or go get you some food or whatever. Um, and he was like. He was like, uh, he didn't want any food, but he was like, oh, I'll take the cider and the Budweiser. I was like, all right, cool, done. As he, as he was, like, on his computer setting up our satellite, he was like, all right, bro, yeah, look, yeah, you're such a cool guy, yeah, you're so kind, yeah. I'm going to give you all these things. So he gave me 20 different, like, subscriptions for free for two months, three months. <laughs> so I've got, like, the movie channels. I've got, like, the kids channel. I've got, like, Paramount. I've got Netflix. I've got, like, um, Peacock. I've got so many like streaming services for like free for the next three months and I was just like, this is jokes. Like it just being nice got me this many things and I was like, yo, this is this is quite funny. 
He goes, I usually don't do this when you want because like usually um a lot of the time when I come to install it, like people are o always like shadowing you or they're like, like kind of like thinking about their own things. Like they're not really like bothered by you, if that makes sense. Like they just think it's like another person in the house. And uh, sometimes when you're thirsty, you can't really like, you know, ask them. It's kind of rude, like he feels like. And I was like, bro, you didn't, don't worry about it. Like whatever you want, just like let me know and we'll just do it. Innit? And uh, yeah, he was like, he just gave me all these things. And I was like, everyone, everyone in the house was like, after he came back, he was like, how, did, how comes we have so many of these channels? Like, he gave us, like, Paramount, he gave us, like, this, he gave us that. I was like, just, just asked if he wanted to drink, and he just gave me all this stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, layoffs uh, have been fired. everyone from recruiters to engineers. Yeah, it's, it's been nuts, man. Uh, being hospital, uh, hospitable gets you that? Yeah. Free things, uh, free, then you forget to cancel, then you pay big time. Nah, nah, so like, he was like, okay, so what he did for me was, uh, he ended up, um, during the three months, right, he cancelled a few of those, and then, like, he goes, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, start up for you, cancel it for tomorrow, and then that way you don't have to pay anything, but these two things you have to cancel yourself, uh, and I think it was the Netflix and it was the Paramount. Uh, he goes that because those are outside. Th those are things that not not related to uh, Sky. So it's not it's not part of their brand, but it's a partnership. So it, it's something outside of their subscription thing, which I have to do. Um, so that was the only thing. Only things I have to worry about. But obviously, those are already been cancelled. He goes that literally as soon as you walk, as soon as I walk out in about two days, three days, or even after a week, just call them and be like, "Yo, I want to cancel my subscription," and in three months you won't have to pay a single dime. I was like, "Okay, done." When I did, when I did look at all the stuff he gave me, right? It was so I asked, um, I asked uh, Sky when you have to re renew our contract, right? Guess how much it cost us if 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 we ended up ever sticking around with that? Seventy five pounds, guys. I was like, no way, forget that. Seventy five pounds worth of goods you gave me, and I'm like, nah. Oh, I, I just wanted to inquire about it because I was like, you know what? I kind of liked the movie channel. I kind of like this, and I was like, you know what? Because, like, every, every time when I end stream, yeah, there's, like, nothing on TV. I'm going to be honest, yeah. There's nothing really on TV. So what I end up doing is on I go to the movie channels and, like, watch something. So, like, me and my sister, like, I, I've told you guys, for the last week, we've been binge-watching uh, the Resident Evil movies. So they've got, like, six movies. We binge-watched it all on TV. We recorded them all and then just, like, watched them whenever we have free time. And, uh, yeah, I was like, you know what? Let me, since our contract's renewed, let me ask, let me inquire about all this stuff. So, like, with the movie channels, you get Paramount. Uh, which is like £53, and I was like, Jesus. Then he goes that if you want, like, all these other channels that you've, uh, like, you were offered, like, f this long ago, they're going to cost you, like, a further £20, £30. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, this is expensive. Like, how's anyone paying for this stuff? I was like, I don't even, I, like, I don't even watch movies that much, but for that price, it's crazy. Like, £53 just for the movie channels? You have to literally be sitting down. Every single day to turn on that ch uh, that TV channel just to watch it, and I'm like, nah, we're not we're not that into the movies. But Jesus, that that's a lot of money, man. I wouldn't be surprised if people are actually doing that, though. Like just paying for like everything. But guys, I think uh, we're gonna be done there because we got movie uh, we got movie night in about uh, two hours and about forty minutes. So we're gonna be watching. Uh, we're gonna be watching Smile, a horror movie. Go to the video channel. Uh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, I thought a bus crashed into a car. Um, so we are watching Smile. It's a horror movie, right? And uh, we're gonna be watching that at six PM GMT. So in about two and a half hours. If you guys go to the Discord channel and go to the events. Uh, so if you if you go into Discord and if in the corner you'll see events, click on it and it'll change the time according to your like time zone. Uh, and it will just show you uh, when we're going to be streaming it. So, guys, definitely, definitely, definitely pop down for that. Uh, pop down for that stream. Um, all the pictures of the pitch uh, pizzas and stuff, like the pizzas, the sourdough and stuff, I'm going to be uploading onto Discord uh, and, of course, onto Instagram. So, if you guys want to check them out, please, please, please do so. Uh, there we go. All right. You know, if I spell it right, that'll be great. Insta and Discord. There you guys go. So yeah, be sure to be sure to check it out there. Guys, thank you very much. You guys have been a pleasure. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. 
uh, once again, uh, keep an eye out. Uh, we are going to be streaming tomorrow, uh, hopefully. Uh, keep an eye out on the Discord. We will be uploading the TikTok and uh, TikTok like username. So if you want to subscribe to it and stuff, uh, feel free. And uh, guys, thank you very much. You got a pizza heart, guys. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for being here, guys. And of course, Mary. I'm going to be providing you a song. Um, a pizza hut, a pizza hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pizza hut, McDonald's, McDonald's. Will there be one tomorrow? Now we're not going to be doing a cooking stream tomorrow. Now we're going to be doing a gaming stream. Oh yeah, my sister, my sister is in the loo currently singing the song as well. So just in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> Yeah, I can't hear you. Sorry, uh, the doors are like blocking. You wanna quickly say bye before you? We... I said I'm in my room. I'm in my room. What you went in the toilet? I was only in the toilet for like a minute. I had to pee, and then I sat in my room and I was playing games. See, guys, the, the amount of respect she gives you, she, she's like rather. It's because you were, you were talking so rather, much. You rather, know, they were being entertained by you. Rather play uh, games than talk to you guys, man. It's just dis disrespectful, man. Anyway, McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. I like it. You want it. I know I really want need it. I can't remember it. I can't remember it as well. <laughs> I, I know that was like some of the lyrics there. Ah, Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza. McDonald's, Mc uh, I don't know if they're allowed to say that. I don't know. They probably don't like us. Copyright free, copyright, copyright music, innit? Alright, peace out, guys. Bye.